Okay, the truth hurts. Uh, let's double check that we're live. Live, maybe? Bueller? At Olive Garden, sauce is the soul. What is going on? I think we're live. Hmm. We're live? Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We are live. All right. But as I was saying, trying to get a handle around what migration is. And I saw what someone post in the Discord about it being um, uh, like some, a lot of like weird modifiers. I wish we had the post. We probably should have saved the post. But like, for example, being at war will make it harder for you to form a cultural community. And what happens is it will tick. Uh, like every month, it'll check for the formation of a cultural community. But it seems primarily exodus driven. Um, also, we've been having a hot pile of, I've been trying to figure out streaming stuff and been struggling. On Twitch, we don't have notifications, unfortunately, but um, that is what it is. I spent a while trying to figure it out. But we have here really high migration. Apparently every month it'll check for any place that uh, has a cultural community that wants to move. So it's pri primarily exodus driven. It will check and it will um, try and find a place to put that cultural community. And what it will do is it will roll a chance at forming that cultural community in that place. Um, and it will be much more likely if you have obviously really high migration attraction um, in, uh, you know, but it's going to be this migration attraction, mass migration attraction, which is the average of all your states um, that are eligible. Now, no, I'm not sure exactly what makes a state eligible. Um, I'm thinking it's if they are um, uh, incorporated. I don't really know. Uh, the tooltip doesn't lock, so we can't uh, hover it, and we can click right-click to open the context menu. But this doesn't do anything, right? Because we, it's not it's not opening something associated with what we're trying to look for. So um, we could sort here, mass migration attraction ledger, uh, and we can see that we're number three in mass migration attraction. Oh, maybe we found out how to do it. A look at it. No. No, so I'm I'm not really I'm not really sure. Let's try and see if we could look at that some more. But uh, this is something I'm really trying to get a handle on because I think what it actually might do, because it's based on the average, this might increase the viability of actually building tall. Um, and uh, the reason for this is that uh, your, in particular, let's check the chat. All right, is this the new stream? Yeah, I think so. We're live, we're live, we're live. Oh God, cultural groups are back? Yes, they are. If you have mass migration controls, yeah, so you have to be c categorically off migration controls, I think, uh, otherwise it gets bugged out, but I'm not 100% sure like this. I think a lot of people are loading in and then no migration's happening and then they think it's bugged and this is exactly what I thought for like two or three hours of the stream. Um, but then it's starting to, uh, your groups, uh, I think when you start out with a cultural community, it doesn't actually count as a cultural community for migration. So we started off with a bunch of Spanish, but they didn't count them as cultural communities even though they start. I think it's only allowing new cultural communities to get migration. Um, and so if a place starts with Spanish, I think it's not letting the Spanish people go to the Spanish cultural community, for example. Um, but it seems primarily exodus driven. So there will be a culture group, and this is what it's seeming like to me based on what I've gathered, like what I've read, and I haven't looked in the defines, someone's looked in the defines, like saw in all the, the dark wizardry. But um, what it's seeming to me is that it's mainly uh, exodus driven. And so for example, here in Transdanubia, uh, people are leaving. Um, and so what it will do is, let's say the Croatians wanna leave, the Croats wanna leave. Um, what will happen is they it will try and form a cultural community every month for a Croatian because they have a reason to leave. So it's exodus driven. And the way it's going to roll is every month it'll roll a chance on forming an, a, a, a cultural community in, I think, a nation. And so it rolls just for Iberia is kind of how I'm understanding this. And then if Iberia uh, is successful in the role, it will form a cultural community in the, uh, like the place with like the most migration attraction or something like this. Um, but it's uh, it's like a role based thing. And so it takes a while for the migration to get going because you are needing to form these cultural communities um, over time, right? So you don't have the cultural communities yet. And then once they appear, then you start getting some migration. I'm not sure if intermarket migration is even working 
or if it's just only mass migrations, it seems like we get very, very small levels of intermarket migration. Um, and um, we're trying to find a place that has like a relatively low migration. Uh, but so like here, this is not a mass migration thing. This guy is leaving and he's going to Transvaal. So just this one dude is just left and gone to his Transvaal. And oop, mass migration target. Maybe we can hover here. Uh, state is selected as a suitable target for mass migration uh, by a culture subject to considerable cultural turmoil. So this is what I mean by being exodus driven. Hey, Palea, we're trying to, uh, we're trying to parse through some of this stuff. Um, a migration target may appear when the turmoil of culture is uh, less than 15% of a culture in a country is at least 15%. So increasing turmoil is one of the ways you can get migrants now. Surrounding states may also see some degree of immigration from a migration target. To be eligible for mass migrations, a state needs to be incorporated, have at least 20 arable land and 70% market access. So I did, this, what this seems to imply is that incorporating states actually might be bad. Uh, because it will decrease your average migration attraction for the purposes of mass migration. Uh, additionally, the state cannot be uh, cannot already be the target of mass migration, and the country's uh, migration and citizenship laws needs to be allowed for this to happen. And so, okay, what does this mean for our strategy? Well, we probably want to stop incorporating stuff um, because if we incorporate stuff, like let's say we incorporate. Lindy or something, right? Lindy doesn't have a lot of mig mass migration contraction. Our current uh, mass migration attraction is like in the low 50s. This will pull the average down. But it's not eligible. It's not eligible because it's not incorporated, right? And so um, I think it's going to be the case that you actually want to be more selective with what you're incorporating. And so we maybe don't want to even like incorporate so here, let's, uh, here's the thing. We incorporated all this. There's a reason why we probably shouldn't have. The attraction's pretty low because we have a ton of turmoil. So I think if you have a lot of turmoil in a place, you probably don't want to incorporate it um, because otherwise we would be outcompeting the USA for migration. Um, hello there, Emmerich, how's it going? And so we're just trying to think through some of this stuff um, and figure it out. And so, but also, uh, regarding building tall, in particular, uh, the the edict for migration greener grass seems bananas relative to before. Getting 20 flat means that if you are in any place other than like the new world, this is going to have a bigger positive effect on your migration attraction. And if you're stacking several of these modifiers, even if you're in the new world, it's gonna be a lot better. And a flat modifier is gonna be better. You lost 25% on the percentage, but 20 flat is often gonna be really good because if you just had like 25 to 30 flat before and then a 50% modifier, right? let's call it 20 before, and then you get a 50% modifier, um, then you would be up to 30. But now you're getting 20 uh, flat and then a 25% modifier, then it's kind of like 20 plus 20. Uh, now that's your new flat is 40 plus the 25% is up to 50. And so if you are playing, if you're playing, playing tall and only incorporating five states and slapping down greener grass campaigns on all of them seems tremendous for pulling in migrants. You've had some bug crashes with the diplomacy screen. Anyone got the same? I read about that. Maybe we should just avoid the diplomacy screen. We just don't click this tab. The forbidden tab. No F6. Stream elements is live. Okay, so stream elements is now chatting in our thing because we made it a moderator. Hmm. Also trying to figure out Twitch. For whatever reason, it's not sending update notifications um, to my stream elements slash OBS. If anyone has a quick fix for that, please let me know because it's not, uh, whenever someone subs or does anything, it's not telling me. But landing run seems crazy right now. The amount of pops you're about to get is crazy. So you have a negative modifier if you only have one state or if you only have two states. Uh, it's up to five states. So I think what the optimal thing, as far as migration goes, is only having five incorporated states, and in every single one of those five incorporated states, using a greener grass campaign. That seems nuts. Hello. I can't pronounce your name, but hello, person from Germany. So I was thinking we might do a Korea run, and a Korea run seems really interesting because you would be able to absolutely blast 
the shit out of the migration attraction. Every one of these places is eligible. Someone, I forget who suggested this. It might have been Play It, even. But, no, I don't think it was. Um, but every single one of these places is eligible. We have pretty solid mappy. Um, also thinking that Persia wouldn't be insane. Okay, they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You know, they have a decent chunk, but it's still a, a pretty large uh, uh, thing. Petition to short, short, uh, shorten cultural community to Kako. Kuko? Is it possible to remove cultural communities? Uh, what if I only want certain people to migrate? Well, in theory, you would use migration controls then. But then it's still broken. Landfang can eat easily annex Borneo and uh, the Sunda Islands. <laughs> Hello, name. How's it going? So, I, I, this is kind of the thing we wanted to, like, maybe focus on and keep an eye on while we continue playing today. We're going to be continuing with the Siberia run, Spain into Iberia. Um, but we're going to try and focus on the mig new migration mechanic. Because this actually is a metagame shift. Um, and maybe this is the way that mass migrations always worked, and I just haven't ever looked through the files, and like, because I don't... Uh, but it makes sense, because you often only get mi mass migration after, like, a later kind of period of time. It makes sense that it's calculating it based on an average. I just didn't realize that that was the case. In which case, uh, incorporating stuff, there's, like, a very meaningful difference. Uh, but we'll take an unpause and be off on our way. And deal with this pollution standing uprising. Oh, it looks like we already dealt with it. Big nice. Um, and so, to that end, we're going to need to try and construct a lot, um, in places that particularly have a bunch of unemployment. Uh, so, why don't we get onto that? Or, uh, unemployment, most of all, but also, uh, but also, we're going to want to focus on places that are incorporated. So, like, Azores, so it doesn't look like we have places with very much unemployment, I guess, other than the Azores. I guess we could put this down for the Azores. Uh, look at this guy. Hasn't played... <laughs> I haven't played EU4 in a while, and it's obvious. Doesn't know exactly where the Azores is. Okay. Um, it's unfortunate because we incorporated some stuff. It looks like you're not going to want to incorporate very aggressively because of the turmoil. Decreasing your average migration attraction by a substantive amount. Um, well, we know coal... Let's see what's the better earnings between coal and iron. Iron doesn't look like it's pretty good. Let's see, two... Or I guess they're both around two. Um, sulfur is not very good. Lead. Lead's pretty good. But we don't have a lot of peasants in lead areas. And so specifically increasing the migration attraction in incorporated states. Let's do some of this. 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 And then uh, this, this, this. Why do we have 328 potential? What has, oh my god, make it stop. I guess we made a mistake putting it on auto expand. Let's take that off now. A horrible mistake. It's made a mistake of free stat. Antifagasta definitely doesn't need that much. Frick, man. Tried to trust the system. Immediately punished. Okay, well. God, that's obnoxious. Where do we have the most infra? Free stat, Ika, Antifagasta has, like, way too much. That does explain why we're hemorrhaging money, huh? That's going to be pretty rough for an extended period of time. Good thing we can delete buildings. We can't delete buildings. I guess that's what I get for auto-expanding. <sighs> is it normal for a game that is way slower now with an Intel CPU? Uh, I think that their idea that it was specifically with uh, AMD is not correct. I think everyone's slower. Argentina? So it is broken. Do a ching run, see how to deal with these unemployment. I also struggle to fill my buildings a little way faster than before. So the Azores are the close to the US, and uh, Madeira is close to Portugal. Yeah. Generals Gaming, this is how it works. Migrate the migration to wait until the migration starts emigrating. 
migrate the migration. This is how it works now. Wait till the migration starts emigrating. Yeah, you have to wait on emigrants to get your immigrants. That's that's the first time we've done auto expand on the railroads in a while, and it, we are severely disappointed that a bunch of places just like went crazy with it. I wonder what the what the conditions are for it going crazy. You know, I mean, obviously we can turn on rail transport in a bunch of these areas on everything, but like, man, look at this. All we have here is railroads and unemployment. All right, well, we got the stonks achievement. That's something, I suppose. Not the achievement we wanted, but the achievement we deserved. All right. I guess we're, yeah, I mean, we're going to come and see. All right. Let's do the tedious thing, which is to look every place where we have transportation and see where transportation is super, super cheap. We see it's cheap here, obviously. And we will make sure to put the rail transport on in all these places. And then we're going to come back, click on the thing. We already did Antofagasta, so we had to do we have to do Ica and Pazzada. And Ica. These are the places the auto expand went bananas. Oh not there. So that we actually might run a shortage. No, it looks like we're fine. Ica it might have gone bananas. Ica. But yeah, the, I mean, it does, there, there appear to be problems. Trouble in paradise. But also there's some stuff we're very, very excited about. Can't delete anything, of course, unfortunately. Hello, can someone help me maybe? When is Max Sterner supposed to join Germany? I do not know the answer to this. When he does join the agitators to journal over. I do not have experience with this. Uh, Cajamarca is showing its development by being the most uh, public transportation friendly state in the world. Vamos Peru, Viva Iberia. Yeah, basically. <sighs> basically. Blah. This will just reset public health insurance. Choose we can't let him leave. Because it's incorporated and that will keep our average up. And we'll keep thinking through that. Alright, let's continue on. This, alright, so nothing's like out of control over here. Mainly just these other areas. Maybe, maybe, maybe we can reverse sway them or we can cheese sway them. We'll just do this. And we'll see if we can. Oh, we can make one of them a subject. So, would you like some ham with the cheese? Now, let's see if we can reduce autonomy for anyone. We only have three infamy. No, we cannot. But we did annex them, so we could have go after Persia. Could go after Kalat, could go after Sin. Looks like Great Britain's already taking Putin jabs, so. Hello, Addy, how's it going? So far, uh, enjoying everything about the patch, except for the performance. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to sink my teeth into the migration stuff. Uh, but doesn't player migration negatively affect performance late game? Doesn't more player migration? Yes, but so the way that they're, they're trying to ha make it better is by, uh, just to be clear, these cultural community mechanics m leading to 
um, we might end up having a lot of extra South Germans here, but then in another place where we have a ton of migration attraction, we'll have no South Germans. Like here, we have a bunch of Danish. And so the fact that we don't have Danish and South German in both of these places leads to there being fewer entities for the game to calculate late game. And they said about 20% fewer entities. And so what's going on is that we will be having um, more places uh, with just pulling a larger number of a particular uh, cultural group uh, and rather than pulling every different cultural group is kind of how this is going to get better. Is the game better than your opinion? Uh, well, right now, I mean, it's not going to be playable into late game. In fact, we could even think about starting a new run uh, because uh, the, the game progresses incredibly slow um, because it's like whatever it, whatever's going on, there's some sort of performance problem that's like going to make the game like worse in that regard. Uh, but the my biggest complaint overall for Victoria 3 for a long time has been um, related to... Uh, here, let's maybe we protect her these guys. Closmid State might help out. Has been this. Uh, that Diplo plays are not transparent. And here they show you everything. So we see that the Ottomans, they're kind of on the fence. Uh, we don't really have a good idea uh, yet how to interpret those numbers, but uh, we think that there's a chance, like really low, that the Ottomans join here. So we're gonna save. Um, and we're generally trying to take a lot more plays that look iffy with the idea that we kind of want to understand these thresholds better. So, uh, but just taking a look at the Ottoman Empire, we can hover this and see why it likes to support Iraq and, you know, sympathy, genial attitude, ideological similarity, all this, and then why it doesn't like us very much. And it's got defended the borders, uh, like, uh, strategy, which means it's going to be leaning uh, towards neutrality. So they have a neutrality score of uh, 107 and a preference for Iraq of uh, 87. And so because of that, overall, they support not really intervening, but we'll see if they do um, If in the stipple play. And uh, of course, we'll just get ourselves some oil. We hope. And if we don't, um, then we should be in fine shape. Transparency in a Paradox game? Nah, son. Here's, here's random value mana, GG. <laughs> Basically, sometimes. No, I mean, it's like, it's much, it's, I mean, this is a huge improvement. I think anyone acting like it's not is like... Bro, the game's playable on Iron Man now, I think. Other than, like, uh, this needs to absolutely not be the case. The declare neutrality button just can't be at the same plot spot as the switch sides button. Because if you have a subject with a revolution and you click switch sides, uh, it just uh, bricks your run if you're playing Iron Man. It's like, excuse me? It's like, that's not, that's not okay. Marching against peace. War fervor, extra maneuvers. I think we're okay with extra maneuvers. But one thing is that if we're at war, we also get like a 50% penalty to this formation of new cultural communities, which was like a modifier that's like seemed wild. I wish I had the thing of the modifiers, um, but it makes it harder to form new cultural communities. We have so much migration attraction here, but like, look, we have uh, available, oh, they changed, this wasn't in the patch notes. This wasn't in the patch notes. The cap for this value used to be 10. That is huge. That's an alt F4 moment? Yeah, basically. That's a control out delete bird moment. But then you're not really playing Iron Man, right? So the Iron Man but birding Iron Man is like... Okay. But this is huge. This is such a... Bro, how do you not put that in the patch notes? That so tremendously affects things. Bro. You know what that's gonna mean is that that's gonna dramatically improve the value of like uh, stuff like wood and fish, where even if you're not building it and employs up, you can just build it just for the job capacities. So we could just like decide to just do this. Even if these fish places don't get employed up, we're just like, we don't care. This is only 200 construction, it creates more jobs, and it pushes up the average migration attraction. If migration is entirely driven, right, by, uh, uh, mass migrations, which kind of looks like they might be leading in that direction. Now, these places aren't incorporated, so we don't care, but these places are. 
Spe specifically Ika and Antifagasta, because they have, like, unlimited infrastructure. But that's, like, that changes things, man. Have you found a way to see AI opinion uh, on adding further war goals in the Diplo play? I haven't seen it, but you, you can probably infer that if they just barely support you, right, when you're opening up the Diplo play, that adding a play, like, um, you know... Yeah, you, it's only for the initial claim. You, I, I would say that if they're close or they're on the fence, you can assume that adding stuff uh, that incurs you infamy is gonna, like, brick it. Hey, Gabriel, how's it going? Weird flag? It's Iberia, baby. 30 is insane. That's such a huge difference. Are you able to employ the canals now? Uh, you always have to take full states to do the canal stuff. Um, and this is kind of uh, how you want to think through it. I sorry if you answered this question a hundred times today. I just started today, so I've answered nothing. Is internal migration borked? Um, internal migration values seem really, really low, and what I think it is is that you cannot um, migrate pops of a cultural community. I think what the game is doing, so insofar as the game might be bugged, here's the way I think the bug might be happening. Um, you can, oh, we got a notification. Oh, perfect. So we fixed it on the Twitch stuff. So we get to we get to go on over and see what happened. Thank you for the follow, dear Gabriel. But um, what it seems to be the case, maybe, is we started off with Spanish and there was no intermarket migration with the Spanish. I think if you are starting with a cultural community, your cultural community uh, cannot leave from like a homeland to another cultural community uh, that it started the game with. So like if. If we have a Spanish here, and we have Spanish here, at the start, it can't migrate between these two. But if we formed a cultural community over here that was Spanish, then we can exit this out towards here, I think is how this works. The problem... Uh, so you, you don't experience migration until you start forming cultural communities, I think, is how it works in terms of the internal market migration. Uh, but the problem is, is like, uh, it's based on turmoil. Uh, and to be fair, there's some turmoil in Iberia, so I guess we're getting there. But until you get over 15% turmoil, you're not going to have a migration movement. So, like, at the very start of the game, it just feels like there's zero migration. And then it starts to pick up, but then it's going to be, like, a winner-take-all thing. So, um, where, you know, the countries with the biggest migration attraction... Um, no, 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 not that. The countries with the biggest migration attraction tend to take like the pie because they get the cultural communities and so uh early on us just gets a ton uh and then you know stuff kind of chills out and if we look at, and this is maybe better for the simulation if we look at the us's chart it's bananas and so yeah does the available jobs modifier scale scale linearly it used to so i assume it still does How's Peru losing pops if they have insane amounts of uh, available employment? Um, so here you're talking about? This is not a very high migration attraction level. They have negative gold uh, mines depleted, and there's a bunch of turmoil here in Peru. Um, and so this is why we should not have incorporated it, um, because only incorporated ones count towards your mass migration. So, yeah. Can now have a migration buff now as well? Okay, well then that makes it even better, yeah. Ah, I have to get faster at this stuff. Thank you for the, <laughs> thank you for the follow, Mr. Fart Knocker. <laughs> Much appreciated. <laughs> um, I guess maybe we want to. Oh, we can't do the Panama Isthmus and all. All right, let's see if we have any place low on tax capacity. We do, Castile. But like, it also seems like the upper limit is like higher. Oh, uh, actually we're getting no migration attraction now, but when we were getting 3K a week, that's so much, right? Cause that's like a 150 per annum. Internal migration works with France at the start of the game, at least when you tried it. Okay, then I don't know. None of your employed pops would move uh, to Hokkaido with migration controls. Yeah, I think it's completely broken if you have migration controls. I think you need to have no migration controls. Hey, Minister Bombastic. How's it going? Has unused arable line modifier also changed? Have you checked? 
I think it's still 25, but the fact that this is actually something I would love feedback for. I think the cap's probably still 25. But something I left feedback for was like, I was, I thought that this value was like insanely low for like available jobs. But now available unemployment's plus 30. Bro. But bro. That's gonna, that's gonna make a huge deal. That's gonna make building up tall, like you really just hoover up the pops like, right? Which like most important resource in the game, souls, 100%. So, oop, I guess we're okay with Lima having stuff. But I guess we could like go to these places that have this huge amount of infra, right? And just slap down a bunch of stuff knowing they have the infra to support it because we the auto expand thing is silly and then this will give jobs which will give a bunch of migration interaction We're gonna just take the enactment chance and run with it, because we don't have any setbacks, available setbacks, basically. Iraq backs down. Oh, we didn't even put in extra war goals. That's nice. How nice of you guys to back down. So we are pushing here. I guess maybe we take the 20 stack and we do a landing. Your YouTube videos are nice, but I still don't understand how after five minutes of USA I can't get a strong market, get strong market. I don't know what you mean by strong market, as five runs as USA. What do you mean by strong market? We're, so these guys are now my so we're getting to Castile. So I'd have to, I'd have to know what you mean by that. Um, if you're referring to something. Thank you for the follow, Drasticals. Um... So here, now we're getting mass migration attraction because we hit Latvian. So this is spawned, and yeah, so like we had zero mass migration, we had zero migration earlier, and now we're going to start getting a ton, but 2k a week is a really pretty big number. Is this going to go up next Monday? No, it goes down to three? Okay, well. Well, shoot. To be fair, there's Latvian there, Latvian there, and they're still taking some pops in, and Latvian. And Latvian. So it's coming to a lot of these places. The strong market achievement, you need like 600 million GDP. Oh. Oh, you just need to increase GDP? Just go burr with the, the wood chop chops. So best is greener grass, 20 point free job, no plantation, unincorporated, plus 50%, and no turmoil. Well, uh, incorporated places do not count for the mass migration attraction. So, um, that kind of, I, I was thinking initially, so colonial resettlement's insane if it does, but it, since it doesn't seem to count, then, yeah. Play Norway. 3K a week is 216 an annum. That doesn't sound right. 52 times 3K? I'm confused. That's what you want, seeing the pop numbers go up gives happy brain chemicals, basically. 100% agree. That's like, just the line go up. Is the line going up? My brain is happy. But yeah, so that's like a huge balance change though. Cause it, you, you, like on release, you used to just be able to hoover up pops if you just built a ton. And now that might be the case again. And so maybe we want to like, okay, we have a lot of, in Navara, we have a lot of, um, do, what if we just do this? Right, oh, well, I guess it only goes up to 17. But, like, what if we just, you know, 31 a bunch of stuff? We get, create a bunch of, like, available jobs. We already have a bunch of available employment, actually. Um, unused arable land, we have the pollution impact, meh. Uh, but this is a pretty high amount of migration attraction, right? But we, what we could do is we could move the edict from, from here over. Like, this edict is doing so much work. 20 plus 25. 
super migration run would be fun. We were actually thinking that, uh, doing that as Korea. Um, we just only have five incorporated places. We just absolutely max out the stuff. I was trying to think of what is the most resource dense place in the game that you start off with five states or less. Um, after someone suggested Korea, and I don't know if there's a better answer than Korea. By 1930, you need 600 million GDP. Hmm. You max out the wood. Yeah, you just gotta build a lot of the resources. The fact that it cuts uh, so much, even if you're fighting an unrecognized regional power, is dumb. Yeah, so if you're at war, it just nukes your attraction by like 50% is another thing. Which means that fighting little wars might be like extra bad, right? Uh, but it's like also annoying because this, I think, uh, happens with native uprisings and other stuff like this. You can't believe the new construction cap of 1,000. Someone's here to be memes. It's 156 per annum. Was thinking of long weekends, aka 72. Yeah, that, that makes sense. It scales up with the world economy. Well, that means you don't need to get bigger than everyone else. You just need to get other people to be worse. <laughs> kind of annoying to hit this event. Um, I guess, could we take a oh, 10 legitimacy hit for, five, what is this, five years? Oh, while it's being enacted? Yeah, I think we can, I think we can live with that. We really want to get this through. Getting Java as a subject for free is super nice too. Norway editor. As Spain, don't you want to move the capital of Valencia because it's simply the superior state? Sounds like we have a Spaniard in here. Um, well, we should have moved it to Valencia because Valencia is on the coast. And if it's on the coast, it actually makes your life a whole lot easier. We moved it to here. Uh, here there had more pops. Valencia would have been better. I do think that that was a mistake. Eh, yeah, sure. We'll, we'll go Echoes of the Revolution. Why not? I can't. How could this possibly go wrong? Does being a great power give plus 25 migration work for mass migration? This is my understanding. My understanding of what the mass migration attraction is is the is the average of all of the migration attraction among states that are eligible, which includes like states like this. But like right now we're getting a very severe malice. We should not have incorporated places with, with turmoil. So I guess this is like, the new strategy. Transvaal, what about it? Oh, Transvaal having, but we want more than just Transvaal. But yeah, if we just incorporated only Transvaal and Free Stat, we also don't want to do another Transvaal run just after, right after doing them. Just from a perspective of, uh, is performance better now? Uh, supposedly it improves when you reload the game. It does feel a little bit better, but we've also only been playing like 20 minutes or something. If you open the migration map mode, you can see which countries migration works in. Oh, so categorically some don't work here. Let's, okay, let's see what this is about then. So you're saying that migration doesn't work in all these countries. And it works on the other ones. I don't know if that's the case, man. I think that they just, uh, it's like winner take all. And I think that you can't get intermarket migration uh, from like homeland states to like non uh, non newly created cultural communities. So there's a cultural community for Spain, but it's because it's a homeless uh, state. For Spanish, because it's a homeless uh, a homeless state. It's a home state. There's a cultural community for Spanish because it's a home state. I think you can't send to home state to home state. You can only send from home state cultural community to newly created cultural community. Um, so that's why you're not seeing any from Spain to Spain. I mean, you could be correct, right? But like, also, the people who are getting migration are the people who there are exoduses from. They're starving Irish, potatoes and such. Um, and then there's people who are getting, the people who have the most migration attraction are getting like huge, like, uh, Argentina has a lot of migration attraction. These guys have a lot of migration attraction. It's like, uh, I don't think there's a case. I mean, we could take a look. So what I suspect is that the mass migration attraction uh, ledger is going to show there's not going to be someone there that's not getting any migration attraction that's at the top of the list, right? I don't know why that's not working on the ledger. 
Okay. Why is the ledger not working? Oh, maybe we have to wait? Ledger, please. Oh, because we have to clear them. Okay, whatever. <sighs> okay, we're gonna try saving and reloading. <laughs> the fuck are you drinking? I am drinking uh, a mix from, what is it, a soda stream mix just in an Amazon, uh, not Amazon, uh, in a, what's the tea of the, well, in an Arizona tea giant jug. And so the mix is Dr. Pete, Dr. Pete mix, and it's in a Arizona tea jug. All right, mass migration attraction. Okay. So like Colombia, Canada, Argentina, Venezuela, we, I, so if we s take a look at the migration map mode, Expecting to see these guys actually receiving my migration. Okay, so these guys currently aren't. Canada had a lot. Canada's receiving a little bit. They also don't currently have migra a mass migration, but let's say um, we could even look where the migrants are going. So yeah, there's a lot of places not experiencing migration, but like if you're trying to decrease the entities, you would have to, you want this to happen, right? But if we look, Let's see if they have anything that is not... Like, I don't think Franco-Provincial starts there. So they've gotten migration in the past. They're just not getting it currently. Estonian, I think, doesn't start there. Right? Croatian, I don't think, starts there. So if we actually look at the places, and look at the places that have a lot of migration attraction... Like, because we're looking here and we're seeing a bunch of white states, but if we look at the places that have a lot of migration attraction, I think that we, for the most part, will see them actually having gotten a lot of migration, like, over time. In your case, it works in Germany, but I think it's more... I, I think there's more going on there. Also, Germany is interesting because they're getting... I, they're getting intermarket migration going, I suppose. Um, we are not really getting intermarket migration for the most part. But if they have had cultural communities form allowing this to happen that we're, they didn't start with, then this would explain why if it's limited where you can't migrate from one homeland to the another also same homeland. If you have turmoil in a home state, is it possible to get mass migration to one of your other states? I think they can only leave... So I'm not 100% sure, but I think you can form cultural communities as well without mass migration events. Just mass migration is better. Pick migration attraction map mode and then open the ledger maybe. Map modes bug out when you leave them with the lines open. Yeah. How's the update scene? Haven't been able to check it out because you have an exam today. An exam today? You have an exam? If you have an exam, I recommend closing the stream and either studying or relaxing. But if you already had it, uh, I would say that uh, the update uh, has some stuff we're really, really excited about, um, but the fact that it makes performance worse and um, also did not fix the construction queue bug kind of leaves it at like sort of a net bit of a disappointment, I suppose. Um, kind of bummed about that. Okay, so if we don't want to be at war as often, Okay, let's reduce autonomy in Java. I'm not sure if that's correct, but... Wow, we have, like, all of Borneo. So I think we actually want to be peaceful more often. So this means bigger infamy targets are generally going to be better. How many generalist enjoyers on Twitch right now? There are nine generalist enjoyers on Twitch. Or at least generalist watchers. We can, we can do a poll, how many people are hate-watching. I haven't done a poll on Twitch yet, so let's do... 
I don't even know how to do a poll on Twitch. Hmm. How many people are hate watching? This is the question. Well, I don't know how to pull it. I guess we could pull the YouTube. How many people are hate watching? How we watching? Love watching, neutral watching, or hate watching. figure out what the people are thinking. Do their immigration laws affect it? Uh, so I think that you get, I think it is bugged if you have, but I'm not sure. If you have uh, migration controls, I think it might just break your stuff. Is there a limited number of cultural communities in the state? I don't think so. Cristobal, Colombia was Estonian. Oh, I guess we gotta take a look. Estonian, would the Croats be there too? How much fun have you had so far? Yes. We needed a real fan name, as he's a generalist. Maybe we were the recruitalists. Recruitalists. If you're real fans, you two would also be generalists, right? Character appears in Iberia. Well, let's get that migration attraction, I suppose. I wonder how many people are here watching. <laughs> but we will continue on. But yeah, like this this is pretty slow for the seventies. So like, um but I like I mainly just wanted to like think through this migration attraction, try and watch and get a feel for what's going on, because I generally just like look at stuff through feel and try and understand what's going on that way first and then it's like it's easier for me to process like the actual information like once i've like watched the things happen so we're losing pops here we're losing it to valencia so but valencia has that going on wow so that's a lot of incoming and so valencia i think we have we're using the edict so the edict seems really strong i'm gonna get a bunch of irish And so I guess maybe we will want to push EOS here. And then we're going to have to build in for ourselves. Lost all, please. Let's pass it. General gamers, yes. You're playing Japan with migration controls and none even in Hokkaido, which had a lot of migration attraction. But that's the thing is I don't think they can I don't think they can migrate in that way. Or they can't migrate from cultural homeland to cultural homeland. If we have two Spanish cultural homelands, I don't think we can send Spanish pops. If you have two Japanese homelands, I don't think you can send Japanese pops. So in this sense it might be bugged. Or this is like what I've not been able to notice. It has to be a sense of hierarchy for it to be make sense. What, the, the generalist thing? Or generalist enjoyers? Mm -hmm. Well, just to be clear, by virtue of me being a generalist, or like very often what's the case if you're trying to be good at, at a lot of things, is that you don't ever actually become an expert at anything. So in terms of hierarchies, that's a pretty good way to be a low on the pecking order. Communist criminality. It do be that way. really don't care if Hawaii likes us, so... But our, our, we're, after being pretty flat for a while, we're starting to take off. I wonder how big a driver, like, this is for us. Or the Greener Grass campaign. I know we're encouraging down here, I think in Lima? We are. 
but we only have 7.5. And since we're adding a 25% modifier, maybe we're supposed to build here more. I wonder what we're researching right now. Human rights? Okay. So it's like if investment pool runs out, private queue construction still builds but uses your money instead? Yes. And this makes the 75% allocation worse because 25 75% of your queue is spent on stuff you pay for but don't want. Well, I think it's worst if you are at a certain level of construction. I don't think it's like categorically worse, but I think if you're um, like below 2,000 construction or some like pretty big number, it's worse. But it also might just be worse, yeah. But like, this is also not WAD. So like, I don't think it would be terrible if that's how laissez-faire worked. But that's not how the game's designed, right? And so I don't wanna like, yeah. He asked those questions like it was an MCAT. If only he was an economy master, bodybuilder general. Yes, yes. I hate choosing games. How bad was the SOL compared to the average? Plus how bad was the turmoil on the Japan? Yeah, these are important questions. Because it also seems like they really don't want to intermarket migrate very much. But we've seen a lot of passing of pops between these two states. But in very small amounts, like one or two weekly migration or something like this. But it, I think it was only after they each got uh, discriminated pops. Or maybe it's always been because Boer... This is not... No, no, wait. This Boer is a cultural community here. I'm not sure who they were passing back and forth then. I think we are going to uh, stop the greener grass there though. And instead put it here. And then let's stop the violent suppression. But yeah, I mean this edict seems quite strong now it was gonna drive like hundreds of thousands of pops towards you there's not like uh, right if it's gonna knock you into a new category because you're average the thing is it's going like it's increasing our our migration attraction by like 50 in the states we put it in so i'm starting to think that places where you don't have much incorporated you maybe like maybe incorporation is really not that good and like yeah building tall is like a little bit more of a thing. Now, North Borneo is not incorporated, so we don't care about the migration attraction as much. Is it better to play without private construction queue now? Uh, I would say right now, yeah. I think it's, uh, in terms of if you're trying to maximize the run, it's always better to play without it, but that's not necessarily always the goal, right? You can have other considerations. I think your income is negative because of the previous French bankroll. Also because we are paying like way more in a railway subsidy than we would at this point in the game. Because we were trying to not have to focus on playing the whack-a-mole game. And so we had railways on auto-expand. And now we have places with way too much infra. Like Kajamarka. So, to be fair, why don't we actually... Try and get the pops c come on over to Kajabarka. So maybe we do something like this. But I also think there's some value in like moving around these edicts to intentionally try and seed particular things there. So we went from 30s to 60s. Now why is it relatively low? Well, we have gold fields depleted. We have turmoil. We don't have a lot from available employment, so we could just build more stuff there. Um, let's just max this out. Nice, multiculturalism. So this is coastal, so that is going to make the food industries better than normal if we're using this stuff. And we also have this coming on in, so... Uh, SOL was very good because everyone in the, work, in the gold mines and was fine in Hokkaido, but not the rest of Japan. It's 
cool concept in terms of log putting and micromanaging, but less efficient, I guess. Yeah, also, like, you have to want to play slow, right? For it to be good. Yeah, like church is not gonna. Yeah, okay, we'll go par elementary. I think we have a thing for it, anyways. I was hoping presidential republic is gonna be better now because you can have your guys step down. I think. All of Japan was in turmoil. I think if the turmoil might even be something he wants to force mass migration. I don't think you can mass migrate to yourself though. After 10 cultural communities in, uh, ch uh, in the state, chance for a new cultural community is low according to the game files. Interesting. In that case, you're probably actually supposed to, and this is kind of like, <laughs> you're probably tr tr supposed to try and seed a whole bunch in a place and then move on and seed a bunch in a different place. Uh, in terms of moving around your edicts. Because if you have more cultural communities, I think you just get more migration, generally. Is the Siberia game sponsored by uh, Renfe Colombios de Portugal? I'm not sure. Why did it overbuild railways so much? Isn't it also supposed to expand when there's a need for infra? No, it like also expands... Um, I think it specifically it has issues when it doesn't have enough labor. Because it will like... Uh, it'll have problems in pulling up and then think it's profitable and then go for it and like... Um, the, the the stuff expanding into infinity seems to be more of a problem in places that do, doesn't have a lot of labor already. Might be something along those um, kind of notes of like what's going on. Thank you for the follow fl fancy slime. So. I'm not sure the exact cause though. This is not my, uh... Area of expertise. I think we wanna try and... Survey that. Survey says. Ding, ding, ding. But yeah. Interesting that I think the strategy was to wait for the turmoil to go down and then to build there. But to be fair, like, if you build a lot in a place, it generally decreases the turmoil. So I guess, like, you could make an argument that we're supposed to build a lot to create jobs to reduce turmoil in some of these places. So there's this. But now we have a huge fat modifier here for available employment. That's such a big modifier now. Which I guess maybe they put in because USA was just super dominating with the unused arable land. But you can restore the unused arable land if you give a bunch of people jobs. And the fact that it's like winner take all -y means you like really don't want to produce this stuff yourself. Yeah, I was gonna make a video on like uh, SOL and like migration, but like, which is why I'm trying to learn this. But this is also why we didn't have one of those earlier because I knew they were changing. Um, how migration was gonna work. And so now we gotta, we gotta reformulate a model of how everything works. You know what, we could probably use more convoys. We have like, a lot of places with level 7. Yeah, okay, let's get some more convoys too. Improve that trade. Also, it gives us some more resilience in case we have, like, a massive fight with a big power. Okay, so we're gonna look for places with not a lot of infra, that also have a lot of peasants, and are incorporated. So that fits the bill. Kind of fits the bill. Fits the bill. Valerius. Doesn't have a ton. Catalonia will just spam out. Azores. Okay. Where 
here that we have a lot of peasants that are incorporated. But this also changes the strategy of like where you want to build and stuff, right? That's probably pretty good for the Guangdong. Eastern Andalusia has a ton. Beria has a ton. Iberian Gambia. Oh, it incorporated some of these stuff. Ugh. Iberian Gambia. Where's that at? Where is that at? Oh. This is incorporated? When do we do that? Okay, well, you got us. British Senegal. I think in theory we could trade. No, we can't trade with them. In theory we can, but. Theory is practice in theory, but not in practice. Can you force open builders? Oh, Red Fay and the guy from Portugal are the Spanish and Portuguese state training companies? Oof. Can you force open borders? You can't. You can, um, regime change. Uh, but this is just gonna change these things, and then you could, like, use that to try and pass other laws later down the road, but... Yeah. But, yeah, force opening either Qing or, like, Japan would be, like, the way to go, right? What do we have here? I guess we're not supposed to declare... Alright, so you'll, we'll see if we can yo-yo sway here. We really want Spain to become a subject. So it's modern mercantilism time. Import primary goods, produce manufactured goods, discourage everything else. Uh, I wouldn't... I think there's a distinction to be made between primary goods and... Um, And agricultural goods. It's generally importing agricultural goods and exporting the finished goods. But early game exporting resources is really good. Still, I think. So we're gonna side here. We don't really want to become our subjects. We could just get an obligation without hitting the huge negative relations to debuff with the USA, so we're just gonna load and see what that looks like. Are we on planned economy already? Disgusting. How do we time people out? <laughs> time to time someone out. They write, suggest command economy. No, command economy just blows really, really hard. And I think it should blow. But the, the malice you get from the investment pool modifier uh, multiplier is just, like, too big to make that even remotely... Well, it's way more viable now than it used to be, because economies just in general are slowed down, but by the time you can go out, usually it sucks. Okay, so... Who's also likely to side with who? Alright, let's get an obligation. more cavalry at game start than we did before, but just wondering why we don't have private queue or gov rather. Oh, because it's still bugged, so we have the we have the private queue turned off in the settings. It's still bugged, unfortunately. It was kind of pretty much about that. Um, like for me, this is actually like from a gameplay perspective one of the more obnoxious bugs, and so that it's still like this is like. <sighs> Like, if I didn't make content for the game, I might just be, like, waiting to play, like, a different time later. You know what I mean? Just be like, okay, I'll play when they fix this. But. Which I, I think, given the amount of people who are, like, tuning in to the streams and this type of stuff, while simultaneously, uh, like, the player count is, like, barely moved. The player count's, like, super low right now, but there's 134 people watching the stream. Uh, on uh, YouTube, we got 12 on Twitch. And so, like, um, there's a ton of people who have an interest in the game, but they're just not playing, because the, the stream numbers are, like, low, and this is, like, high numbers for me, and so it, like, kind of raises the question, is, like, 
and people are interested in the game, but they just don't want to play. Uh, which is, I mean, like, to be fair, the gameplay's slower right now. I think you should actually wait. If you're going to start a run where you're planning on going deep, you should probably wait. Like, this is probably... Uh, it's supposedly when you restart the game, it, like, speeds up a little bit, but this is this is kind of slow for 1880, to be honest. For us, at least. Um. Oh, where was that mass migration from and to? I didn't mean to skip it. I'm trying to watch those things kind of closely. Um, well, since we're going to be at war, we might as well do a diplomatic demand somewhere. So we could reduce autonomy in Argentina. We'll do that. And uh, thank you for the follow, Piff King. Much appreciated. So let's do that. And then annex subject. So we're going to annex Congo. And then Najd if they accept. They refuse demands. Okay. It do be like that sometimes. We'll just send those guys that way. Really also love the new, like, outliner. There's so much that's, like, improvements on this patch, but, like, it just, like... <sighs> they dropped it and performance was worse and the construction bug's annoying, so... That's kind of, like, to some extent where we were at. Didn't they say they fixed it? No, they did not say they fixed it. They said hopefully it was fixed and that they couldn't reproduce it. To be fair, like, you actually have to play for, like, longer than ten minutes to reproduce it. Um... But when your private queue construction, or when your private thing runs out, um, uh, yikes. I guess we need a little bit of a small army, huh? So maybe we split something off. But no, they didn't say it was fixed. They, it was just like, we hope it's fixed. It might be fixed. We couldn't reproduce the problem. Something else we fixed might have accidentally fixed it. The bugs are so bad, I'd rather watch you play. We'll rather watch me suffer. Yeah. This is perhaps the way to do it. What's up, mate? First time watching live. I've learned a lot about the videos with your videos. Keep it up. I didn't read what you said, but I read almost what you said. Thank you so much, Andre. Welcome aboard. I like watching the game, but once I start playing the game, I can't decide on country and end up not playing. Bro. You want me to recommend a country? Or will chat decide your fate? Well, we didn't want to kill Isabel the Bourbon. That doesn't sound like justice to me. God, I feel so bad doing this. And also... Do we want to make the Catholic Church angrier? I guess we don't care because they're already minus 18 and the other guys are marginalized. <sighs> Maybe we let chat decide our fate. Oh, we gotta end the poll. Looks like love watching one. But we got a lot of bird watchers here. Okay. All right, what do we do with Isabella here? Is she too dangerous to be kept alive? Or I love democracy. There we go. I keep waiting for a particular bug to be patched and then the patch introduces a new game-breaking bug. I haven't played in a few months. I feel you, Liam. <laughs> I look forward to Vic 3 streams because I've played a lot already. Now I just know when there are new DLCs to and watch for new updates. Yeah, pretty hyped on the DLC, to be honest. Uh, make a poll which country Ron Kittin should play. Rwanda run. Uh, I mean, I'd, wa I'd want to know what he wants to do or how he likes to play or this type of thing. 
All right, so we got 31 votes so far. It looks like people are leaning towards I love democracy. By the way, that is choosing This Is Not Justice, where we actually try and use the democracy. Um, she's too dangerous to be kept alive. We'll uh, have us find her guilty, and she will die. And this vote, for the U for the Twitch viewers, this vote is going on on the YouTubes. So... Ron Kinton said, I failed miserably with Sokoto, so I don't think Rwanda run is in it for me. Yeah, I generally don't like recommending. I think the really hard runs aren't really that fun. They're more, like, tedious than anything, to be honest. <sighs> you know what gives a lot of satisfaction and, like, brain, like, oh, this is nice? It's playing as, like, uh, something like Germany and forming Germany or playing, forming Italy, and your brain's like, ooh, my line goes up now. And so... Do an EU4 game first and then use a converter to a mod and continue. I've heard that those things are really unreliable. Looks like we got 47 votes in for I Love Democracy just barely winning. Looks like the people do not want to take off Isabella's head. I'll give it like another 20 seconds or so. So if you don't vote in the immediate now because there's like a 30 second delay, your vote will not be counted. Do do do. All right. Looks like democracy wins today. We will not be taking off her head. We will not be taking off her head. That's not justice. Democracy won again. It was a meta vote, right? Very, very meta. Because we were voting on whether we should have democracy. The patch being marked as mostly patch fixing doesn't help either. Yeah, that's like... The, the two things is like, we're fixing bugs, the biggest, most annoying bug didn't get fixed, and we're improving performance. Performance is worse, since <laughs> like, eh, it's kind of awkward. But at the same time, cannot emphasize enough that, like, the thing that I have been, that's been grinding my gears for forever has been fixed. So, you know, the things be thangin' sometimes. Look, this is this is what we get. This is the thanks we get for letting her keep her head on our shoulders. This is what we get and deserve. Was she a jerk IRL and deserved to die? I don't think so. I don't really know. So. Yeah, I'd say pressure or USA. Pressure, Italy, Japan are def most dopamine hits. Same with, like, Ching is the, like... Ching is the, like, doing the hard drugs in terms of watching the line go up. You're, like, <laughs> doing some Ching. <laughs> Ching makes the line go up like unlike anything else. We do like making the line go up. I think that we try and land. AI also sucks at defending themselves against landings, despite this also being something that was supposed to be fixed. Well, they said improved. It might be improved. So I'd bite improved. Improved might be the case. We just keep adding stuff at the front of the queue and they never get to finish. Uh, let's kick some of those to the front, I guess. New trains, at least. Yeah, we did get the choo-choos. Je suis un chouchou. You don't even play Victoria City? It feels like so much work for the books. Too little enjoyment. Watching is fun, except when you gasp. That's a bit unnerving. <gasps> oh no. Did I really gasp that much? I don't think I gasped. Oh, you mean the sucking the air through my teeth? Where I'm like, oh no. Yeah, it's like the devs just accidentally drop something on the keyboard while writing code. Someone made a comment that like made me think, and I'm like, I was like, that's probably kind of like what's going on here. Uh, and that, the they made a comment regarding like, uh, they want to, for the sake of, like, shareholders, they are supposed to deliver stuff on time, and so they have to, like, ship at the internal date, basically. And so, they just ship at the internal date either way. If we enact parliamentary, do we become purple? I think that's presidential. We could actually try presidential, to be honest. We haven't played around with presidential. Um, and I think the ability to step down now actually makes it significantly better. Um, these guys will not start or join political movements, but it's looking like we might have some problems actually getting this passed, to be honest. Mm, looks like the USA is making a little progress a little bit faster than normal. 
We're actually gonna send this red rover, this army over. And we did see an Intelligentsia boyo. Wait, what the hell? Didn't he have Offensive Planner just a second ago? What's going on? The guy we didn't recruit had Expert Offensive Planner. Am I going nuts? Maybe I'm going crazy. We're promoting that guy so that it, we can increase the legitimacy of... Or the... Wait, what the hell? Why is this guy here now? Alright, well... We'll still promote him. So weird. I thought it was supposed to use the same pool. Is there two different pools? That's not normally how the game works. Forming Mega Germany and then uh, CE with Luxembourg is probably the steepest line. I don't know. You could go really burr with Ching. Okay, double the responsiveness of the AI. Two times zero is equal zero. Fair. Does AI now put a division at region so they you can just not invade from the... So it's hard to invade. They're better about it. The USA was always kind of a tricky one to land on, though. Um, we, like, crushed the Ottomans, but Ottomans' defense is the literal worst. So Ottomans is a poor example. But Peru put up more of a fight than they normally do by a large margin. And if you watch the video, we, like, actually struggle with it. It's, like, a bit of a hard time. But, like, right now, like, all right. What's this about? It's like, excuse us. What's this about here, huh? What's this about? Chat, what's this about? It was supposed to be harder. What's this about? No, wait, we are Iberia now? You won't turn purple either way? No! Terrible. Is this really you go pre purple with presidential and then Iberia you can't go purple? Frick, man. Strictly worse. What is Mexico about to enforce on the US? Return American Utah. Mara backs down, they should. We're gonna be annexing Congo in a sec here. It looks like we're also enforcing on this other war. Super obnoxious that, like... We let Isabel live, and now we're gonna have this big-ass rev. We're not about it. Road maintenance and Castile's maybe not worth it? At this point? Maybe we should have kept it just because we could keep it in. But now we'll just switch everything to defend front. You know what's interesting is maybe Curious Sirs would be better. Because these would be better at defending once they get in. And they both give the extra battle occupation, so it doesn't really matter. And the whole idea is we're getting in for free. And this is why we want it. And now. Once we're actually there, they defend better. Oh, they don't defend better. They tweak the values. Okay. Lances are just better. Fair. I know we expand the, n the military quite a bit. We'll get better offers on stuff. But let's actually... Do this. We're doing it here because we want to increase the jobs and increase the mass migration attraction. So that'll be a stack that we can use for landings. Uh, as well, and then this stack. Oh, we also don't need to make mega stacks anymore. We'll just make this a 50 stack then. I forget, we don't need to make the mega stacks. Do something like that, I guess. The purple. Yeah, Thatch has got the right idea. No purple, no love. 
It also bothers you that West Virginia starts out as a state. Historically, it wasn't, uh, didn't exist until the middle of the Civil War. I have made multiple proposals for the unifications of states. I'm not super married to the, the like, West Virginia and Virginia, but I agree. These two should be merged because they were more merged at the historical start. I'm fine with this. It messes with their 50 states idea because um, every single state is a star, but and the flag updates dynamically, which is the most, like, I actually think that this is just, like, a feature I don't care about at all. But, um, you know, I think they should merge all these states over here, all these New England states. So we have, you know, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Vermont, Maine. I think this should all be one state, New England. And this would improve performance as well. I think Maryland uh, should be merged with the District of Columbia because the District of Columbia gives the White House building, which is like super useless because you the throughput's like really useless because you can only employ a little bit of people here. It's like, okay, whatever. It should be merged with Maryland, um, West Virginia, Virginia. And then coming over here, I think that also Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Wyoming should be merged, and the name of the state should be et al. And then finally, um, and no one has agreed with me on this, I think Texas and California should be merged, cause, because that would be funny. But no one no one has the stomach for Texafornia. Texafornia is a, a bridge too far for many people. Our Mega Stacks works mechanically, all I know is that they're better for your sanity. Mega Stacks were better mechanically. They're kind of worse for your sanity if you're trying to move to multiple different fronts. Uh, but they were better because you used to not be able to borrow on offense. Now, you can borrow on offense, and so this makes them better. I don't know why Austria is so committed to just abandoning this front for this, but okay, I guess. Is 10 infantry and 10 go uh, cav good for a naval invasion? If no one gets in your way. Um, yes. If someone gets in your way, not so much. But they can hold for a little while. So we have this we have this 20 stack here and this 11 stack. These guys will be able to hold out, even though it's a minus 90 and they're getting pushed by a 200 stack, they will be able to hold for a while and tick down the USA while like being on this, which is going to give enough time for Austria's, some of Austria's stuff to get over here. Unless Austria is just done. But I, I figured Austria was moving over here. Yeah, so we're it, the, the point of the stack being 20 instead of 2 is that a 20 stack can actually buy time, uh, whereas a 2 stack cannot. And also a 20 stack can land these like smaller countries and stuff pretty comfortably, uh, but it's not going to land these massive uh, things. And so it's it's flexible, and like for this purpose, it's like useful. Uh, have we noticed East uh, Asian migration seems to be bugged with no closed borders and no serfdom? Uh, well, you have to specifically have open borders, otherwise it seems bugged, yeah. Uh, Qing, Korea, and Japan don't seem to migrate at all. Oh yeah, I always forget about the serfdom thing, but yeah, you need to be off serfdom. You're more of a Calaxis guy, but you do you. Yeah, okay. Alright. Fair enough. I see you. <laughs> Calaxis. We'll reset the production methods, we won't uh, incorporate it. Capital city would be called Callus. You know, it's like, uh, I think the, like, the, in between, like, the middle of Texas and Sacramento is, like, actually, like, right here or something. It's not that far off from, like, one of Texas's major cities. Most of those western states were big territories before becoming states, so having war goals that lets you take uh, them like that makes no sense. Like all of them at once? I'm not sure what you mean. Also, DC is a state? Bold statement paradox. Yeah, clearly. They're, they're out for... They're out for the, the liberal agenda. It's Paradox's fault for, not make, for making a game that runs so slow, it's our fault for not owning Craig computers. It's not Paradox's fault, yeah. To be fair, I think, so, look, here's what here's what the game does, and where a lot of the resources go to, is this. And for me, like, this is not, this, I'm referring to, like, all the pops, and all the different things, and separations, and all this, and the tracking of all this, like, states, cultures, jobs, all of this. For me, this doesn't move the needle in terms of gameplay, and I'm not 
I like would not care if they simplified things and they had fewer cultures uh, and stuff like this in order to improve performance. Um, and so that they could add gameplay stuff. For me, I'm not like married to this part of the simulation. Like this isn't the fun part for me. And so it's a little awkward. Wow, we have 15 Jews. They're probably gonna get assimilated soon. Um, Oriental Orthodox. But, um, this is what we're paying for with our calculations. And I'm not, like, I wish they would, uh, give us either more granularity in terms of, like, uh, the pops being tracked so meticulously in terms of gameplay decisions, or, like, not track them so meticulously. But. So it goes. In your opinion, what is the biggest problem that exists right now in the game? Well, hey, this patch kind of fixes the biggest problem, uh, but I still think diplomatic plays are just kind of unhinged and crazy and just, like, uh, have a bunch of problems in general. Like, I think the declaration system's weird. You can only declare one war at once. That's crazy. Um, but I, I understand, as I understand it, it's, uh, they have issues when they try and swap off of that. Um, view... Uh, like, I think the enforce below zero mechanic or get stuck at zero mechanic is crazy. Um, I think that you have to, you having to put in your war goals as before the war starts is also, and you can't just, like, take whatever you want afterwards. I think that that's a little silly. I think it should be that you have to declare what you want ahead of time, and then if you take something other than that, it should cost way more infamy or maneuvers or whatever. Um, but, like, that you can't just enforce what you want. I don't know. Uh, like, I think that that's a problem. So, like, a, a lot of things to do with the diplomatic play, I think, are problematic. But now it's a lot more transparent. Like, who's gonna join? Which I think is, like, a, a source of, like, a great deal of, uh... emotional pain for players. And I think that's fixed. Can we get some lucky ticks on Parliamentary Republic? DC doesn't count towards the stars on the flag if the USA is, uh... Reduced to just Washington, D.C., it becomes the United Senators of America. I always thought that that was pretty neat, but also, like, crazy that they, like, took the time to make that a thing. Why don't we have these guys not be there, huh? Also, if you already occupy their capital, I think they're kind of generally pretty bad at defending against landings, if I recall correctly. But we'll see and just... Well, this isn't necessarily emblematic, but we are going to try and land Florida. Florida. Catch me outside, how about that? I think that we're going to have to come off this law, to be honest. Unless we get, like, really nice ticks. Well, we just get in. For Freezies, good dealsies, our favorite. And we control the capital, so it looks like... America will be returning Utah to its rightful owner. What is this? Low organization? Oh. Ashanti going colonial. I haven't seen that. Yeah, the I think they try and pass the colonial... Um, frontier colonization now. There's a button to prevent formation borrowing on offense if allies are uh, unaliving. You almost got me with that one. You almost got me. Uh, <laughs> probably removing national supremacy would make the game run faster if you take a division, I guess. Or maybe an escalation system would make sense where you gain moves with casualties uh, and the amount of... Yeah, so I think there's a lot of stuff they could do to make it, like, better. But, like, the enforcement system's, like, wild that, like, um, also, like, they supposedly f have fixed it so that if you have a rev, if someone revs, it doesn't break your war goals, but anything that breaks war goals is incredibly frustrating. Well, 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 says Political Santa. Well, well, well. Well, 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 well. Streaming again, are we? Yep. USA has the most dynamic, uh, names of the game. United, yeah, but they're all USA acronym. Except for 
Well, actually, even the United Senators. Oof. I think that someone spent way too long, like, thinking through, like, all a, a lot of the USA flavor. <laughs> like, to be honest. They're like... The, the amount of... I wonder how many hours got spent making the dynamic flag, you know? And it's like, for me, this is like... There's no other flag that's so dynamic. Troops moving while time is paused. They have time machines. The time machine troops. They're back from the future. Ah, and from the future. Son of a bitch, he's from the future. Diplomatic demands. Are we at war? Oh yeah, we're doing this. I think we'll probably look to take Sinai. Just raw dog it. Okay, Slovene are going to Navarra. Now, are, I think we put in a mass migration thing. Yeah, so you can really control where you're going to get the mass migration if you... I think it's probably going to be meta to be us, using at least one greener gas campaign, right? You know what? Maybe we like the monarchy because it lets us run more greener grass campaigns, but we have migration attraction at 150. Yeah, maybe we actually like the monarchy. Monarchy is like, we have to give up at least two greener grass campaigns, right? <laughs> and we're like definitely experimenting a bit with this. Or I guess we could give up a consumption tax, but. What are we, how much do we have here? We have... Standard of Living gives us 27. Oh, Standard of Living not have a multi... Bro, Standard of Living now has a multiplier. Oh, they've changed so much. Before they used to just give flats SOL. Now it's 2x SOL, right? It used to be just SOL. If someone in chat remembers, I remember it just being SOL, not 2x SOL. But that's 2x SOL. And then also, the employment cap, it was 3 x right? So this significantly decreases unused arable land uh, as a migration polar, which, like, makes the U.S. a lot worse, right? But we're also getting the 20 flat. So this also decreases the value of the 20 flat. Um, um, but we're getting 25 from greener grass, 25 great power, intelligentsia, and then pollution. But, like, yeah, 150 would have been, like, unthinkable. But this is still a ton. Also, the fact that you can't uh, just buy non-core states is a little weird. Yeah. Star Swarm Banner is your favorite achievement in the game, to be honest. Also one of your favorite speedruns. Okay, what should I do? Integrate African colonies as European power. I understand the bonus resources, the you have to industrial zones, but that does that mean you should just delete the industrial zones? No, you should just leave them. They just, like, will have a lower equilibrium employment. I think you should not actively build them. I also think the way migration works, or seems to work, being very mass migration-oriented, uh, means that you should actually not incorporate very aggressively. Which, I mean, I think that I like uh, any type of game mechanic that makes the systems more extractive, like, um, which does seem to be the case here. Just kind of check it up on how many people are in each one. Hmm. But let's see how much we're getting with one city. So we get Slovene, and 3.6... Ronkin, not great, not terrible. 3.6k, but how long is it going to stay in, is the thing. To be fair, we also have to consider that we're getting Slovene in adjacent territories as well. So now we almost have 10, so it's going to be harder for a cultural community to form in Castile. Which, maybe we're supposed to try and keep slots open for Han? I don't know if this makes sense. I'm not sure if we're supposed to care. How did we lose this, my guys? 
Oh, we haven't yet. Starting to lose money. We hit one mil 100 milli, though. Poor Morocco. Look how they massacred my poor boy. We were actually thinking of going for Morocco. Actually, you know what? Maybe we do go for Morocco and try and feed them back their states from France at some point. Um, we just keep them as a protectorate. Uh, and then... Sometimes you can sway guys in in exchange for the war goal. But I wish you could vassal feed better. Since you've loaded a save, does performance feel faster? Apparently that fixes the performance from... I think you have to restart the game entirely. Uh, but it seems better when we kind of just started back in. But also, I think it's going to seem better no matter what. Not necessarily because it is better, but because... Um, because of a placebo effect. Yeah, I don't think we want this rev. Let's not take this heat. And also, we maybe want to do Presidential Republic as an experiment. So... Only show available. A move to enact total separation. I think we do have to go total separation. Anyways... So let's invite the Democrat. It's got medium support. But we could also do homesteading. I didn't even think about that. Well, that'd be easy to pass. That'd really pump up the rural folk. The total separation is a little bit more of a priority. Someone of the armed forces doesn't like it. This guy, this Mr. Traditionalist, well, you know, people fall out of windows every day. Oh, we failed the assassination attempt. The target is unaware. It was close brush with deaths. Well, you know what? Smell you later, anyways. Smell you later anyways. We don't want you joining that political movement. Okay, so this will be just them. So we did say we would do the Spanish Inquisition, but unfortunately for the chat, we lied. Unfortunately for chat, we were dirty liars. This is chat's fault, by the way. We actually want to see how budget affects migration, so... Are the AI still building excessive amounts of cab in the new patch? I think the problem was they built too much inventory, but maybe, I don't know. Well, to use other goods now? Does this mean demand is an impact or barely noticeable? We can take a look. I think it's not going to be a lot, but let's take a look. Oh, well, that's a decent amount of buy orders, right? 2.5k buy orders of small arms. We'll see how much is in our market total. So we can know what proportion of the... Mm, okay, wait. Buy orders. We got... To trade routes, we're doing 700. To the barracks, we're doing 630. And pop consumption, 500. Okay, okay, okay. I see you. I still don't think we have a lot of those things. Yeah, we only have 15 arms industries, but... We were exporting a lot of it. I think that that's a really good one to export, though, if you can. A little bit less good, because they nerfed hardwood. It was really, really good when hardwood was, like, um... When you would have huge gluts of hardwood. If we export to Qing, we will create a living golem. They will turn out their PMs. They will become undefeatable. Alright. 
Oh, now we have to do the annoying thing. I hate doing the annoying thing. We got to do it, though. It's malaria prevention. We have to do the annoying thing, chat. Chat, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. We have to do the annoying thing, though. I'm just putting it off. I'm just acting like I want to build a university here somewhere. And also forgetting where the university tab is, because I don't want to do the annoying thing. Where has the absolute mo most peasants? LM. So this is a little bit of a classic. But also, a similar demo in Zanzibar, right? Alright, it's time to do the thing, chat. Gats clock. How are you so funny? It's the same way I'm so handsome. Uh, they tested that the wealthy now use other goods such as clippers. Yeah, so it's a it's a different decent amount. America should get a 10x multiplier. You can bet your ass someone's going to be trying to make uh, playing the USA meme run where they try and get them obsessed. Has Paradox acknowledged the performance hit for the patch? Yes. They said it was because of AMD, like, chipset things, though. That, like, doesn't seem to be the case, but... Uh, what were we... What were we about to do? Uh, we were about to do the annoying thing. That's why we forgot. Okay. We are going to try and roll someone who will allow us to pass multiculturalism. And this is going to be painful. It's especially going to be painful, because we have intelligentsia, guys. Let's see if we have any that are popular. Pacifist, not popular. Authoritarian, not popular. Democrat, popular. Unfortunate. He's gonna. We're going to lose a ton of approval if we exile him. I don't think we have a trade unionist boy. We just have to keep in mind... That we have the Intelligentsia guy. This guy is not popular at all. Alright. Create a fleet. Iberia. Who do we need? It's positivist, I guess. This Intelligentsia guy, he's liked. He's a reformer and not getting recruited. Kind of don't like the intelli uh, the devout. We're kind of trying to get rid of them. Actually, you know what? Maybe we try and get total separation first. Because we're just going to roll a bunch of devout guys if we do this like this. They're communist. And maybe we also right now exile anyone who's devout. Because we know we're going to rev them anyways. Rev them the wrong way, you know what I mean? And this way we also get to pretend like what we're doing is not just preventing us having to actually do the rolling. Uh, we act like what we're doing is substantive and reasonable. It's like, oh, well, we don't want to, of course we don't want to roll a bunch of, you know, these guys. Of course. We also do want to decrease their cloud because it's going to make it harder for them to rev them. Actually, if anything, we should recruit a bunch more guys than we otherwise would because this will make it easier for us to resist the rev because proportionally it's going to really nuke their clout and we have to do it now we don't want to make the industrialist too powerful though all right reformer please be a humanitarian a feminist that's liked uh, it's almost so close Well, you know what? We're not going to accept the pops anyways. Let's just chill. We're not going to accept the pops anyways until we can do multi or uh, total separation. So let's just do total separation. LM is now uh, Maputo. If it's easier, you can call it Maputo. You have an AMD and it seems fine. Wait, is that why the game's been uh, so slow? You have an AMD and it's been dying? Yeah, but that's literally on just on this one patch that they think that they have this issue. Kind of sad that the play pattern of multicultural post-total separation is still the only real option. 
Seems that way to me. Might be even more powerful this patch. The thing is, is like, um, France is annexing Vietnam. Hello, Vietnam. Um, ooh, trade agreement. Uh, it seems to be the case that uh, the closed borders kind of prevents the Qing thing from being a thing. Hello, Vietnam. Big nice. A little surprised we don't see the guys kind of intervening yet, but okay. I guess we might as well increase the institution law enforcement, which is actually going to increase our migration attraction because it's going to decrease the negative effects of, from SOL, which include, or turmoil, which include the migration attraction penalty. So this is going to be nice. We can't just let them leave. Gold so good. Well, we don't need to finish any of these government administrations anytime soon. We have a bunch of progress, so we're not going to delete them, but we're just going to kick them to the back of the queue. We have preserved state religion. A religion that will be preserved. I think this is the longest I've ever... I want to pat myself on the back for my restraint. This is the longest I've ever been just shy of 1k construction without just spazzing out and increasing construction when it's not the correct play. Russia sides with Oman. Wait, we can invite Ching to the custom game? Yeah, with Chinese internal politics modifier. Yeah, no, we can't. Where's bankroll? Is my eyes just not doing the eye thing? They were just not doing the eye thing. Okay, fair. Fair, fair, fair. We have an obligation with Mexico. They have movement for technocracy, you rough. They're in our market already. All right. So it sucks that we have a huge negative to forming cultural communities while we have a native uprising in one of our subjects. Which team is winning? Which game? Which country are you going to test next on 1.6? Maybe Korea. Which team is winning? Uh, Iraq, Kiva, and the UK. Also, with the amount of na uh, nation you're building, uh, doing in Peru, aren't you eventually going to make it your most populous country? Yeah, it's going to eventually be su super populous. Eventually, there's going to... Uh, well, I mean, already, we're, like, attracting a lot, yeah. But they also start with, like, kind of problems in terms of getting enough pops to do the things. But it seems that if you're trying, like, really hard to increase the pops in some levels... A, we got some Raminians. Um, that this seems to also be, like, more effective than it has been in the past. Oh, we don't want to do that. Unused arable land modifier. Which is, like, also, the unused arable land being a modifier, I kind of hate, because it, like, just, it makes it so we don't want to build livestock ranches there, even though... Reasons. Yeah, but antifagasa has got the very significant problem of this, which we can't delete. Completely spazzed out and forgot what I wanted to do. There's a migration on blocker mod that can be used as a workaround for the whole gold migration bug. What exactly is the bug, though? What's not working the way it's supposed to be working? Other than you don't get discriminated in migration when you are on migration controls. Like, this does seem to be broken, but I'm not sure what exactly is. Oh my god, I was legit gonna do something and I forgot what I was gonna do, and I now cannot summon it from into my mind. And now we're starting to pop off now that we're the beneficiary of the mass migrations. Let's check the value, actually. 
who's in the lead here? We are in the lead with 69.9. Nice. USA is kind of a little bit behind us, but not too, too far. Oh, I wanted to, if this place was not on 51, I wanted to do this. Got it. We figured it out, guys. We're gonna kick through this to the front. And we're doing this because we just, just unlock, uh... This tech. Shift work. Some shifty work there. How could not increasing construction ever be the wrong play? Right play, yeah. The asterisk needed. Anthrax Cat says, does mod correct lack of internal migration between homelands? I think this is the, the, the situation, but like, I also have a small sample size. There are like, people on the Discord who like, dig through the code, so I don't have to. It's like the, the like, the, what is it, the meme with the person with all the arrows in their back? Yeah, the idiot landowners don't realize that they only can stand a chance with the help of the religious folk. Isabel the Bourbon will change to Nihilist. I think that'll give us plus five in Akma chance. And it's funny, eh? Oh, it makes him dislike monarchy, too. <laughs> that one's really good if they're also the leader of your thing. And I thought you were going for a positive daily balance. <laughs> How naive can I be? Nope, 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 nope. We don't do that. The mod just creates, uh, sets every country to no migration control. It's a workaround. They call it migration unlocker in the Steam Workshop. That seems like it would just let the Han Pops go everywhere. Do it, Nihilist Isabel. Yeah, 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 yeah. She believes in nothing now. <laughs> oh, we'll kill their political strength. Anti mononarchal queen, so based. Yeah. Big based. I kinda wanna maybe go not this. Let's go iron pods next. And then malaria prevention. And now, with that, we can... Do the Panama Isthmus. Yay! Yeah, because, I mean, we're hemorrhaging money. A big part of this is the freaking subsidies. Okay. Where do we have Ika? Ika and Kajamara? are just the biggest ones, so let's do this. Let's try and get the migration going there. But yeah, oh, we can't deploy up because we don't have anyone, because everyone's working in the f fucking train station. Everyone's busy working in the train station, but migration attraction super high in these places. So, 30 from available employment. Playa, now that you're here, because you would be someone who knows. I believe, didn't it always used to be that you would get just flat SOL as a flat modifier? But now it appears to be the case that you're getting double SOL. In addition to the available employment cap has gone from 10, plus 10, to plus 30. significantly nerfing the impact of 
uh, unused arable land as it relates to migration. Like, very significantly. Just disgustingly diluted. I can hear the queen saying, I hate my job and how it works to her subjects. Imagine whinging, be like, if only there wasn't a monarchy to your subjects as you're the monarch. This monarchy thing sucks. <laughs> Why would anyone go with this system? No. Oh, now I think this is defensive, right? So we could still start a play. We can still start a play. They will accept. Sintang will accept. Jambi will accept. Pontiac will accept. Will not accept. Costa Rica will not accept. Where's Annex subject? Well, we can't annex anyone? Alright. I guess we'll protect our Nicaragua. We don't have a lot of bureaucracy right now. And then we'll use the Africa army to deal with this. How did you get Portugal off of, of Britain in the beginning? Uh, so we hit a scenario where we joined uh, Great Britain in a diplomatic play. And since we are on the same side as Great Britain in a diplomatic play, uh, they would not be able to defend Portugal because they cannot join against someone that they are on the same side as. Drano's drinking his gasoline from his jerry can. Truly a trademark of his work. Yes, yes. I live off gasoline. Just getting here. Any major conclusions yet on migration? Um, so it seems to be uh, primarily exodus driven. Uh, and it seems to be the case that it's kind of winner take all. I think uh, it changes how you think about incorporation specifically. Because your mass migration attraction uh, is a function of your average migration of all your incorporated states. I, and it seems to be that it's kind of winner take all in terms of mass migration. And so, uh, like in particular, like some of the places we've been like trying to pull migrants towards, these guys, these places have really high amounts of like immigration at this point in time. Like, um, and so we just compete, like we can continually get mass migration attraction because this is the only way they can leave. By the way, shout out to multivitamins. Hey, Mr. Rockosh. Is it bugged or just different now? Yes. We think. Is Turtle Island a no-no uh, for you, or are you still open to doing a run? Uh, or are we still open? That's a strange sentence, man, because it implies two things that are contradictory. That the status quo is we are not okay with Turtle Island, and the status quo that we are okay with Turtle Island. But generally speaking, I don't kind of want to do it. But if you, could t if you want to talk about it, you can. It's bugged and different, yeah. Every law ha but open borders has weird interactions. Yeah. How do you form Iberia without Gibraltar? You don't need Gibraltar. I laughed way too hard at you saying I love drinking gasoline. Well, the truth hurts. And it's funny. Popping pills and drinking soy sauce. Holy shit. Can you imagine actually like drinking soy sauce like that? That'd be unhinged. Oh, we did not check who would join against us. We should have. No one can park troops there, so actually we kind of don't care, but... Yeah, we're battling it out with the USA for the migration attraction. I guess Persia's gotten some, too. But yeah, we, we've also been experimenting using five migration edicts, but, like, it seems to be the case that if you're a really small country, you can use a lot of migration edicts, or if you have very little incorporated territory, so that this might be, like, the strat, man. Have very little incorporated territory, just spam migration attraction. I think this might be a ca the case, but with an extraordinarily low degree of confidence. It might just be, like, overthinking. We have a new toy, and we're overthinking the value it might have. Estonian. Yeah, like, the the mass migrations seem way more common now that we've gotten up here with, like, the UK. I 
And we're trying to get this place up and going because we have way too much infra here. But now it'll be able to play up. Allegedly. You know what, in these two st states we're almost certainly going to want at least one level of university for qualifications. Even though the pops are like accepted. Gosh, you must think I'm 13. I'm so sorry, Lamar. Says the 14 year old. I'd hate to be cringe like those 13 year olds. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I think that's really funny, but like also it's like super true. Like uh, the younger you are, like the more you care about age differences. Generally speaking. Wow. Yeah. With a few like asterisks on that. So it looks like we got we're we're re we're reconstituting the Spanish Empire. Yeah. You're playing as USA and you have zero migration for the whole country. How long have you been playing, my guy? It takes a while for the cultural communities to spawn. You have migration controls, any isolated states, any custom union members have migration controls. Any customs union members having migration controls? That'll do it. You're 19, that's the issue. I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> The 19 year old referencing like being 13 when like I'm further removed from 19 than you are from 13 in terms of age. <laughs> I would buy the performance bullet and go for a ching run with the migration mod. Jesus. It's almost like you're undoing what they were trying to fix. <laughs> Good evening to Spain, Mr. Rob Slaw. Have you guys ever heard of Murphy's Law? It's uh, how anything you think that can go wrong, it will. That's Murphy's Law. Anything that can go wrong, will. Have you guys th heard of Cole's Law? It's sliced cabbage. With mayo or whatever. My issue is the brain development being more uh, accentuated between 13 and your age than uh, my age and yours. Probably, yeah. Uh, more brain development happens between 13 and 19 than 19 and 31. I would definitely agree to that. Or I agree that that's probably true. So a lot of brain about like, I mean... In terms of percentages, we just did absolutely huge amount of it is happening, like, between 0 and 5. But, like, uh... Yeah, yeah. I think the the really formative years are also really important. Like, uh, you start being able to like kind of formulate our, your identity, or y humans gain the ability to process abstract concepts, like really process them at around eleven. And I think that's when you kind of start being able to form an identity. So I think like, I think of people's like maturity age is actually being how older, how much older than eleven they are, and it to kind of move somewhat linear from there. In terms of like formulating who they are, linear probably not actually, but like, it's there's like the kind of the starting point. Yeah. Cole's law is the best law. If they didn't want you undoing their work, they should have made their work function fair. Brain development is less important than uh, reference point development. Brain development is less important than reference point development. Not sure what we mean here. Oh, look at that sweet, sweet migration attraction. So, like, are we popping off really hard in migration now, since we've gotten this? I mean, we don't even have multiculturalism. We don't even have total separation. 
Which is why we're getting South Germans and the Poles, right? Because those are the Catholics. Brain dev continues to 25, so it's still pretty significant. Yeah, but like... The... The only thing that really is developing a lot in like from 18 to 25 is your like frontal cortex and even then it's like mainly men women are pretty much done by the time they're 18 um which is like men tend to be more impulsive in that age range um you gotta mark a liberal boy -o. trying to do total separation i guess we do this thing is, oh, this guy's a feminist, though. We do this instead. Mm. Just gonna do that. Law enforcement increase. So this is going to increase our migration attraction by a lot. And this place got stacked up and is now refeeding to the rest of our country, because now it's only at 100. Only. This place is kind of popping off. I mean, someone said it was hard to get new ones after 10, but we got quite a few here. German Empire wants a defensive pact. Do we have a trade agreement? With whom do we not have trade agreements? Well, we could get trade agreements with these guys if they like this. Let's try and do that. For males, fast brain development ends at 24. After about then, it goes down until 50s, 60s, then you die. It's about the same until it goes down in the 50s, 60s. I don't know. I definitely feel not as sharp as I did when I was younger. But I have way more knowledge. But how much brain development is there between 50 and 1,000 construction? An excellent question. Yeah, I agree. I'm impulsive as AF. That's how your relationship ended with your ex. It do be like that. It do be like that sometimes. Sometimes the things be thangin'. In your game yesterday, New York had less than 500k pops in 26. I had 18 mil as West Galicia. That implies a very significant problem. <laughs> I mean, there's two mil there, and they got some checks. They decided to check it out. And some Irish. But anyway. <laughs> Have you ever been to Prague? You should check it out. <laughs> I did have an isolation state, thanks for the info. It's the only thing the mods can't fix. Yeah, I mean maybe we just hang it up for a little bit too. If there's gonna be... I guess, I don't know, like some... So like, yeah, I guess, there's like two layers of things. It's like, I guess maybe it's buggier than we thought. If having an isolated state just breaks your migration entirely, like that's a problem. Um, or if they're, if they're isolated in your market, I mean, like, we could take a look at what migration's occurring, but let's look at the ledger. Well, UK is still getting it, even though they have someone in their customs union with bricked access. Germany's kind of stopped. I guess a few are still exiting. We still got a lot coming out of the Slovakia. Minus 10% population per annum is nuts. Although we see a lot of places in here with minus 10 that are just leaving um, to go to... Whoa, where are you going? Ohio. No, don't go to America. Go to Spain. But these guys aren't doing intermarket migration at all, right? These guys are just going to Ohio. Indiana and Michigan. So that, to me, really implies that in intermarket migration is just completely bricked right now. 
right? Or we don't have a single Portuguese cultural community that doesn't have a ton of problems. That doesn't have... Well, look at this, though. We have a super high migration attraction. Oh, but the problem is we have turmoil, so it creates the exodus because of the turmoil. But look, we have, like, migration attraction out the ass with the Portuguese here. But it's still not going to do it. Because there's a lot of turmoil. Or was... There's a lot of turmoil on average in the Portuguese, so now they're mass leaving the one place where there's a ton of migration attraction. I guess. You're LARPing with Red Portugal. 30% of your youth has immigrated. Yeah. So I guess, like, migration's still broken. Like, the 1.5 launch was less stable than, like, the beta was right before it, and it had, like, way more problems. And the 1.4 was way less stable than 1.3, and they didn't change that much. Just feels like every first, like, iteration of the patch just always just kind of, like, has pretty significant problems. I mean, I guess that's why you guys are, like, watching here, rather than playing your own games. You're like, it's like Groundhog Day, you're poking your head out, and then you're like, nope, we see the shadow. Peace out. Later, guys. Ohio. I needed to make more Ohio jokes when I was playing my Japan run. We also have to start taking Ohio when we play Japan. Uh, I forget if it's, like, hello or goodbye, but Ohio is something in Jap Japanese. Ohio! Screw you guys, I'm going to Ohio, basically. Also, where's the turmoil from? It's an accepted pop and an accepted religion and an okay as well. WTF? Well, we don't know exactly what was going on before we integrated Portugal. We weren't keeping tabs. And here, they just might be doing good because their, pop their population's... Their population's down to 200,000 and they're exodusing like 100,000 a year. Their annual projected migration is minus 33% or minus 30%. What the hell? With super high migration attraction, brother. I'm not, see I'm not sure if the Sims are simming. Oh, they have a lot of migration attraction because we gave them a lot of jobs. But yeah, like, I don't know, the average migration attraction in here is super high in these Portuguese states. So we got 44 plus 50, so 94, plus this makes it to, like, what, 207? That's, like, pretty high, man. Like, but I, it's exodus-driven based on turmoil. Once you get a cultural community, there seems to be no way to remove it. Assimilation is too low. Yeah, so if you get a, call, a small cultural community, it's really detrimental. Yeah, but it seems to be the case that we are able to, like, pretty comfortably keep getting cultural communities over 10. Unless you're saying that this malice increases, like, linearly or exponentially. Ohio is high. Yeah. Makes sense. Where are they all going? Ohio! They're going to Ohio! All right, total separation. Actually restarting the game and reloading fixed performance issue in the early game for you. I don't know if it also applies in mid late game. This is kind of what I've heard. The problem is, is you guys are watching the stream, so like you guys don't have something to watch if I just kill the, if I nuke the thing. I suppose we could always put on the trains guy again while I restart the client if it became too big a problem. <laughs> If you were just willing to give all war goals, you just automatically capitulate in. That would be better. We've slowly been running out of money here. I blame the auto queue just absolutely blasting the hell out of the freaking railroads.
Ohio is good morning according to Google Translate. Yeah. Ohio. I heard the same. Save up, reset, and reload. Supposedly you even one week after game start. But then the performance wouldn't, shouldn't be too bad just a week after. Now we can annex 11 subjects. Wowza. I think we'd want to annex these guys kind of more than anyone else. And we can see Germany's going to side with them if we try. So let's not try. I think Sulu actually, well, Sulu's kind of a pain to take. Well, it's not super hard, but... Cuba's actually got decent territory, so does the other place. Maybe we set ourselves up to get, like, rubber in a lot of places, though, which involves going after these guys, so... They also might accept. They don't, but they might have. They would have, they could have, they should have, but they didn't. I need to load up your old saves, but 18 million in a single state seems like a lot or no. That is a lot. Hey General, it's, it's a lot, a lot. Hey General, just wanted to ask, are the Confederates remotely viable beyond our people? Are the Confederates? Confederates of what? The CSA? Well, slavery sucks. If you're asking about the CSA, are you talking about Confederation of the Rhine? I assume you're talking about the Confederate States of America. I mean, it's just a smaller start. You don't have a lot of the better states. A lot of the better states are in the north. Alabama's pretty good. Um, I assume you want to RP slavery. Slavery's not very good. It's kind of a thing. I don't know if you can form the USA after annexing them. I assume that would be like the goal of the run. It seems like a fine, a fine country though. Well, not a fine country, but you know what I mean. So we need to get on the same side of Germany into diplomatic play, because if we get that, then we will be able to go after this. Don't call it cheese. Don't call it a comeback. How long is the standard living modifier supposed to, uh, supposed to last? Indefinitely? Alright, we're gonna increase taxes, yo. CSA. Yeah, it seems it seems fine. Like it's just the USA light. Paradox game of discussions discussions out of context. Yeah. I think the CSA is a fine country. <laughs> Don't quote me out of context on that one. Though like I need to like actually talk to someone who's like I've been, so generally, I, I, it's important to me to talk to people I disagree with, <laughs> and I need to talk to someone who's, like, one of the grand old days type of people about the Confederacy, and, like, actually, like, just try and, like, hear from the horse's mouth what all that's about. 
But, like, I don't know how you can view yourself as being patriotic and simultaneously, like, venerate the rebels. <laughs> like, even, like, the, the, the people who are, like, pro-authority and, like, the law and order and, like, this type of stuff simultaneously being a fan of the revolution is, like... <sighs> and, like, the, the very shallow response is, like, states' rights, don't tread on me. But that's, like, that's also not, like... Uh... A very satisfactory answer, and I think it's probably incomplete, but... Alright. So, the Catholic Church should disappear. Smell you later. Goodbye. You are the weakest link. You are the weakest link. You are the weakest link. No, they still have all the votes, don't they? I guess we gotta wait a full election cycle. But they are going to lose a little bit. Um, at least here. And now we're running a huge deficit on this stuff. So maybe we made a huge error. Because we can't greener grass everywhere. To be fair, we also actually kind of like her being in charge. Because she has ambitious letting us do these cheaper greener grass campaigns. Or at least currently right now. Oh, let's go commercialized agriculture. This seems nice. Why are the AI, for me, recruiting 50 plus CAV? That's an interesting one. Seems like foreign investment will only grant you profits and no resources, preferential access to the resources. Um, that's what I'm guessing, based on what I was looking at it. This doesn't seem to be from the screenshots they put out. But if you're doing it in a place that's inside your market, then it gives you access to the resources, right? But also, a lot of times, you would actually not mind owning the thing and then just importing it, and that increases the price of the good in that market, and then that increases the profitability. And there might be interesting ways to manipulate that. Like, so you could have cheaper consumer goods in your market while still um, having ownership shares in someone else's market or something. Speaking of slavery, you just gave the landowners as local police in exchange for getting rid of slavery. Nice. Yeah, it's lo some logic twisting to the extreme. Yeah, but like the the I I would I I still would like to either talk to someone or hear their perspective. But yeah, for me, it's just like it just seems like absolute bananas. We have defended them against the USA three times now, and they're cautious towards us. What the hell my guy are you kidding me is this a joke we're gonna ooh we can't yo-yo sway can we cause we have our own little play oh well law and order but only when they like yeah this is kind of yeah it was about states rights to own slaves yeah I, uh, yeah. As a Yank, I can respect at least the fight they put up. I mean, I suppose. It's a very ignorant view on pro states' rights. Yeah, the stars and bars uh, see all the time wasn't even a, a thing until segregation. Well, but, like, also it's like, um, uh, so sometimes they don't want to be states' rights about stuff too. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's just hypocrisy. But also, I don't like to accuse particular groups of hypocrisy because every group is guilty of hypocrisy, right? And that's also just more hypocrisy. But, like, also, well, it's complicated. Protected speech. They don't want to admit that the war was about slavery, so they made a whole all the history about states' rights and tradition, honor, and... Uh, so I think there is a very large segment that are like, we like those grand old days, but I have, I think there's a large segment of people who are also like, uh, they like the Confederacy and they're also anti-slavery. And so in that sense, it's like confusing to me. And that's the particular segment, like, uh, I have like, I would like to talk to, I guess.
Is construction bug fixed? No, it's not. It's still broken. Eats you alive. Yep. Being pro CSA for me as a European seems very familiar to being a Nazi in Rogers, but knowing more, it's just an uh, intercultural uh, idiocy. How can one be pro a pro slavery country or secession? Yeah, I mean, like, this is. Um, I mean, I've met people who are, like, nationalistic that are um, more about separatism like separate separation than they are about oppression which is interesting time to take texafornia yeehaw the only thing i can think of and like wanting everything to be separate so that it can be homogenous is like a different sort of attitude than like what bigotry is typically like captured as but also um I generally like to view as the human population as like the whole of the earth, like the 8 billion people matter. So that's like my perspective. But it's important to see other people's perspectives. We did just get a notification. Because we fix notifications on the Twitch. Thank you for the follow, Mr. Keyout. The only thing I can think of is uh, someone viewing a nation with more racial sense. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, I think that this is the big one. They want an alliance? I don't think we want that. I think that's a good way to get people to hate you, because eventually, like, you get issues. But, yeah. The Southern POV is founding fathers. Uh, we're also rebels to Britain, so there really isn't a contradiction to them. I guess, because... Alright, yep, 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 yep. Hypocrisy could be good sometimes. Only when I do it is it good. Because it's factually bananas. It's good to talk uh, to people to understand how they came that, to think that way. Yeah, this is my... I don't... I'm not talking for the purpose of, like, trying to get convinced. I don't think I'm going to get convinced. But I, I think it's important to, like, uh, see what their position looks like. And also understand how they're arguing. And, like, the, it's not one I've been exposed to where I've thought... Where I've gotten a perspective I thought was coherent. Um, or, like, sensible. And usually there's... Usually, uh... When you pass a judgment that something's an incoherent position, if you actually learn the position, it's not as incoherent as you think it would be. And so it's, it looks why it's important to do this. Gave, oh, thank you, Carthage Bruja, for the follow. Big Carthage, big dice. We Carthage fans out here. Um, according to the bug report, multiple bugs were the cause of the construction bug. They fixed a few, but identified a new one. Oh, that's fantastic that they identified it. Daughters of the Confederacy did so much propaganda, rewrite a lot of history for the South uh, with the lost cause propaganda. Yeah, like, a lot of rewriting history. I was uh, curious to find out exactly how much that was occurring in, or is occurring in Russia right now, or I thought was interesting. Although, I should probably get more sources on this stuff. Looks like we get Ukrainian mass migration. Speak of Russia and, like, <laughs> speak of turmoil in Ukraine. Speaking of... Art of doing nothing. It's our favorite. Oop. Didn't mean to click that one. Meant to do the other one. That was my bad. 140 migration attraction. So we're trying to get this place populated because the auto queue just built up way too many railways. I was hoping for a Turtle Island playthrough today. It seems wild. Maybe we will do it. But like, also just kind of wanted to continue and it felt like migration needed time to get going, and so I didn't want to start a new game because I wanted to see migration. He assumed the bug was fixed. Ten years in the game, you wanted to kill yourself, yeah, or you wanted to unalive yourself. We gotta, we gotta do the things. Thank you, uh, Marjack, for the follow. I don't think they really like the Confederacy itself, just like being racist. Yeah, but anytime you're trying to you're trying to identify or think through someone else's position, you should try and steel man it. You should do what's called steel manning, which is you should try and find the best possible version of their argument, uh, identify what it is, and then that's the thing you attack. Because if you attack like the weakest version of their argument, of course it's easy to make them look stupid. But if you attack the strongest version of their argument and you identify why it's a problem, then like. Um, uh, we'll just take the decaying thing. I don't, I don't want to necessarily be committed to doing the thing. I 
think it's based on the misunderstanding of what the old South was. If you're anti-slavery, you can't be for the old South. Uh, I say this as a Southerner. Yeah, but the... They might just be trying to rebrand something then in a way that no one else thinks of it and that they just have a significant branding issue and they should just like do something wildly different. But then, like, uh, if you hear from them what they're trying to say, like, uh, yeah, I mean, maybe they're just trying to do a strange rebrand. But also, we don't have anyone in chat who's of that persuasion or it's, uh, it's anyone who's vocal, which to be fair, if you were of that persuasion, I think you're just like generally probably shouldn't chat when it seems like everyone disagrees with you but um just getting, getting dogpiled in a chat is like not actually like a fun experience See, Guatemala might help, Nicaragua might help, Costa Rica, don't care about Scandinavia, we kind of care about USA, we kind of care about, and we think that USA might actually side with this 52 and Scandinavia with this 30, so we're going to save. Uh, we would not declare this war, uh, except we want to test and see kind of like where the thresholds are. <clears throat> Is migration working correctly or is it wonky broken? It's wonky broken, but on top of that, it, it is... The way it's supposed to operate seems to be a lot different now. So, the thing is not the nationalistic sense, although it's there. It's uh, what they did to the people they considered inferior, because until pretty recently, like, post-World War II is pretty common. Yeah. Although, I would call it nationalism, but I also might be misunderstanding. I was interested in doing a CSA agrarian backwards nation and RPing it to Jeffersonian Af uh, America. Almost said Africa. It's kind of got to be a Freudian slip somewhere. Consider people from the other parts of the world inferior. I mean, a lot of people hold this, like, type of view. But then, like, if you ask them, if they will not admit to holding this type of view. Uh, like, uh... And they will, uh, a lot of people who are from the West will say that it's not for racial differences, it's instead for cultural differences. And it can still be for cultural differences, but they still hold the view that, like, people from the other area are, like, better or worse. Um. So the USA does side with a minus 50, and what they, the reason they want to side is ban slavery in Cuba. See, here's the thing is, I really wish we could just give that up. We could just give up the slavery in Cuba thing. Um, I don't think we fight this. I guess, what is this? Mexico can be swayed with return, with obligation. With, we owe them an obligation. Um, but I think we're just gonna reload. But, we did want to kind of, kind of explore this, but I guess they, do they have a banning slavery agenda in the USA now? Maybe they do. So yeah, stick to the correct construction for now. I don't like it either, though. Carthage Brazil says, turning a while to uh, figure out my India mess. Just formed India. I need to annex all the puppets. Oh, you didn't... Uh, you're supposed to annex them before you form normally, right? But here, do they have advanced egalitarianism? So they do have this. It'd be funny if they have this with... <sighs> Slavery is banned. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Kind of a little weird, but... Not that it's banned, but that... Uh, well, it's, I guess it's not weird that they're thumbing up by. It should make sense. <coughs> but this might not even be worth going to war because this decreases our ability to form cultural communities. I guess... Um, mm, yeah, I'm not sure. I tend to find hearing a position that's incoherent and insensible is quite normal when it pertains to American issues. <laughs> Ew, the truth hurts. The truth that does hurt. They're already stationed here. 
think we have to delete these capsule sips because they don't upgrade to ironclads, but then we're gonna build a bunch of ironclads. Hey Zack Attack, how's it going? I played with direct construction to make crack out achievement easier and keep forgetting to construct. I enjoyed autonomous so much, it was so nice when they added it. Yeah, I think it's a lot nicer play. It's everywhere. Here I live very is very South Asians, the far right mostly, but at the same time they're very proud of Estado Novo which is very decolonization era, which hadn't much gone. The problem is, is like, uh, like, or it's, I guess it's not a problem. I don't, I, the problem's not the right word I want to use for it, but like, if you're super proud of your own culture, like on some level that means relativistically you are like less proud or, or less impressed with other cultures. Okay, so now we're making tons of money. What happened? some of that, I guess. Living in the Deep South, though, uh, while they will always be anti-slavery, they certainly have issue with certain demographics. Yeah. Thank you, Medium Shaw. <laughs> I don't see Medium in people's usernames too often. That's kind of wild. Yo, did you already figure out the new migration? What's the conclusion? Uh, it seems actually, like, pretty bugged. Uh, we wasn't we wasn't sure it was bugged, but it also seems very winner take all -y. And there's some like interesting distinctions because of how mass migration attraction works. It's like uh, the average of all your incorporated states that are not disqualified for one reason or, or another, which leads to me thinking that incorporation is a lot worse than it used to be. Um, and playing tall is maybe more viable just because you can really uh, crank up the mass migration attraction. But this is kind of like empirical. We don't know how far you could really push this relative to annexing, but you can see here we where we, uh, it's like a winner-take-all affair. You're either at the top of the pile for mass migrations or you're not, and I, part of this is intermarket migration not working, so you see we're pretty flat, and then we started to crank up at the point where we could start competing with the U.S. for the mass migration attractions, and then if you look at the U.S.'s population, in the same time period, they were going cranking up at a pretty good rate. They've started to flatten out a little bit, and so um, it is a little bit interesting. Poor laws isn't so bad. Yeah, I just don't want to be committed to, like, passing it in the next three years, otherwise getting minus 10 approval. It's not bad at all. I don't mind passing the law. I just, like, there are a couple other laws I want to pass. Are people agitating for Turtle Island? Always. Someone was, though, earlier, other than you. By we, I don't mean all of us. I mean, I was running out of letters. Yeah. There was a pretty major uh, propaganda push post-reconstruction in the South to marry Southern identity with uh, American patriotism to prevent future separatism. That makes sense. I mean, it's certainly... Well, we can upgrade these now? I thought you used to not be able to make that upgrade. Okay, well... We need to build some more of these ourselves. The auto queue is not going to build it for us because we didn't set one up. I want my kingdom to know where we have one of those bonuses. I think we have one. Do we not? How dare they? Alright. I guess we don't have one of those bonuses. So. Let's find where we have a lot of peasants. And is incorporated. Gambia. Which I think has a lot of discriminated pops, but Eastern Andalusia. Let's do some of that, and then... Let's put a whole bunch in there, because we know that it's going to be pulling a lot. And this will give us uh, interest everywhere. You stand for Turtle Island. The thing is that the South is full of redneck culture, which is deviation of Scottish culture. It's probably an oversimplification, but yeah, there are a lot of, like, Scottish people. Specifically in the, in the Appalachians, right? Georgian people. I think this is our first Georgian mass migration. 
Memory studies are, funnily enough, what I'm working with in uni right now. The American stuff is an interesting example to work with. <laughs> yeah. What are... What are... What's the... See, I think that there's also something that's like, when you're the loser, when you're on the losing side of a big exchange and you identify as being on the loser, son of a bitch, dude. Why do they do this? I wish they could not sell the thing if they were your subject. That's so stupid, man. Um, there are a lot of types of people that Falconer wrote about that were very medieval, martial honor, culture-like, and felt that losing the war meant a loss of honor. So yeah, this is kind of what the point I was going to make. It's like, um, it has a pretty profound like effect on... Why are we suddenly making so much money? What is that? This happened the other day, too. Minting went up by a little bit. National reinvestment went up. Oh, okay. We accumulated a pool, a pool, and then the pool, because we were building unis and hemorrhaging a ton of money, and now we're building, now we're emptying the pool, so we actually shouldn't have added the construction we just added, but okay. You can be anti-slavery and racist, yeah. Uh, was part of, actually I think most of the, like a lot of the abolitionists were anti-slavery and racist. Was part of migration attraction from Kentucky to Illinois have the ideology. It's amazing what kind of wild stuff people will, uh, will say only when, will only say when they assume you agree with them. This is also true. This is also why, like, if you're actually trying to have, like, interesting conversations with people, like, you disagree with, you should, like, have a, uh, a gear in you, in terms of conversation, where you can, like, seem pretty neutral, or, like, uh, make it ambiguous, like, when someone says something and you ask for more information. Can you ban slavery in Cuba yourself? I wish we could just let it be ban Yeah, we could declare war on them for that, but I don't want to do a war for that. But we could just annex them, I think would be the- if we wanted to do stuff. Hey, I'm Poppins, how it's going? What's interesting about the concept of secession? Secession is so disadvantageous that if a state were to do it, it must be for a reason they believe in. Obviously the CSA is evil, though. Yeah, I mean, I think that if you- I think the CSA is fundamentally in, uh, incompatible with, like, uh, what most people think of as American values. I suppose we don't want to necessarily float, but we wish we had more authority. I guess maybe we stay monarchy for this, like, experiment flirtation when, with a ton of degrees. Doing good since Zach Tech. Spain without the S. Uh, yeah, it's a little Spain without the S. I'm not sure we'll be continuing the run. The lag is kind of substantive. Migrations bugs. I kind of feel bad about a lot of these things. But we are trying to show off some of the stuff. I mean, the fact that Diplo plays are transparent, but, like, it might just be one of those things where you're like, hey, wait a couple, like, a week or two for them to patch stuff, and then, like, then it's going to be better than it was not like, late 1.5. But, like, right now, like, well... I mean, you're getting migration, but it's like 100% mass migration. There's like no intra-market migration, like, whatsoever. We have like an attraction of 157. We do house South Germans, Latvians, Dutch, Circassians, and other areas, and other cultural communities that have lower migration attraction and we're still not receiving it. But at the same time, um, it does seem like you can get quite a lot of pops through mass migration, so. Like Castile coming up, it, I think usually it'd be kind of hard to have like 5 million pops here by... 1884, just kind of playing normal. Portugal is very hypocritical, proud to be progressive, but at the same time, definitely scared of accepting uh, colonists, racist, slavery, and yeah, everyone in the United States likes to say how they're like, uh, a, uh, we're a country of immigrants, except when it comes to actually, like, immigration. Uh, and like, yeah. One of my favorite things to do w with someone um, who's like complaining about immigrants is like to complain along with them 
uh, but make it unclear who I'm talking about, and then, like, at a certain point, just be like, yeah, man, just too many of them, and then just be like, these fucking Canadians, man, because <laughs> no one's ever complaining about the Canadians, right? <laughs> so you just get to turn it on its head, where you're like, I can't believe they just get, they just get to pass through, like, nobody's stopping them, they should build a wall. <laughs> And then you just like yank. You're like, oh, we're just kidding. We're talking about Canadians. I don't have a problem with Canadians, but the entire point is like, uh, if you almost all the reasons that get used against uh, people from South America and Mexico never get used in Canadians when they would be just as legitimate on Canadians. They're taking our jobs. <laughs> so like, there definitely seems to be a racial element. But to be fair, I think that the way that Canadians are crossing the borders is fundamentally also, like, it's not the same, but, like, it's a little tongue-in-cheek and funny. <laughs> I know the performance is worse than usual at start, but did it ever end up evening out? So, I think it's, like, some sort of bug where it seems to be, a lot of people are saying that if you save and load, it it's, like, fine, or it gets, like, better, and, but we're, we don't want to save or load a lot, because that's just gonna, like, impede the overall flow of things, you know what I mean? So, like... We kind of just want to set in, but, like, um, also, like, migration seems to be b simultaneously both bugged and also wildly different, so it's, like, not necessarily clear where the bugs start and where the wildly different begins, but, uh, you know, quite a few southerners that are baffled when people form a unionist, uh, people from unionist areas of the south go all, go all in on the confederate flag. Yeah, I mean, like, it's also just the flag of, like, the losers, but, like. I don't know. Probably could get it back with an obligation, no? Ooh, I'm not sure what this is referring for. We're trying to... I'm trying to catch up on the chat, to be honest. We, we fell behind. Those who fall behind get left behind. Could always try a rather controlled turtle run, i.e. not glitch uh, World Conquest and instead challenge playing USA-China hybrid. <laughs> USA-China hybrid. It just sounds very strange. I mean, like, if I were to do it, maybe I would do it for, like, a single episode of something. Because, like, the gimmick, like, the gimmick is the gimmick, right? Watching the gimmick just swallow everything up um, is, I, I think, not as amusing to do from a spectator's perspective. Hi there, Fafetto. You meant through the domestic tab? Oh, yeah, maybe we can ask and they'll just agree to it. Yeah, yeah, I understand. It'll give us a truce, but yeah, we could also just annex them. But yeah, that will give us a truce. But I think there's slavery in other areas, but yeah, maybe we could just diplo a demand. Oh, we can't right now because we're the target of something, but... To be fair, back then there wasn't a strong concept of the USA as a nation as there is today. I, yeah, this is also true. It's much more of a union in states than a unified nation as I understand. I agree. But uh, uh, I'm talking about people today who ascribe to, like, uh, the Confederate, like, who use the, the Confederate flag and such as a symbol. Uh, these like, more what I was thinking about. But you were correct. I, I think, yeah, I'm, I'm not talking about, like, talking to one of them from then today. Your brain hurts from the Iberian flag. Did an entire Spain run without forming it for that reason? Reasonable. Zach says, hey. Did we miss something? What did we miss? I think we have notifications working. We do. I wonder how it impacts change since they only have a couple of cultures. Migration communities already there, created fast. Would this populate venture? So this is one of the things you you actually have to like wait for like stuff to get seeded and get going. So part of when people are reporting it being a problem, like they can't migrate from Han to Han, but I think they can seed. Yeah, so a bunch of these places now have uh, Manchu, and we're seeing like no migration. But to be fair, they have closed borders, so this is a bad example.
the new far right racist talk is they're too different, are not used to the European way, so that shouldn't come. Which yikes, yeah. But like also, there are cultural differences. But like I, I don't think that's a sufficient like reason for excluding someone who wants to. I'm generally pro freedom of movement, but like uh, I, I do think that there's like a difference between someone from Canada coming to the United States and someone from like Iran coming to the United States. I just don't think it's a, sufficient for like denying access. It's not a racial element, it's a wealth element. Are there not poor Canadians crossing the border? Too many moose crossing the border? You know there's like actually, I forget what state in the United States, or maybe it's in Canada, where it's illegal to have your pet moose cross the sidewalk. And the reason for this is someone was taking their pet moose to bars and getting it drunk as hell and it was causing a problem. And if they can't cross the sidewalk, they can't enter the bar. It's like in a book as like one of the most absurd laws like that's um, like in the books. Longest undefended border in the wall, in the world, build a wall, eh? Yeah. Does anyone know what the longest border with, uh, modern day border with France is? The answer might surprise you. The obligation thing was on the Panama Canal. Might be able to get it with an obligation. Oh, get it back with an obligation? You're right. Okay, that makes sense. I see. Yeah, if we can get an obligation with the UK, we might be able to get Panama. I think they really hate giving up canal, uh, canals and... Um, or earlier when we wanted to get this off of them, they were really not about it. They didn't want to give up Hong Kong, which this is also a treaty port. But it's also a way less populous treaty port, maybe. I think since they have a... a a claim they don't want to give it up. You were going to try out the 1.6 patch? I heard that migration is bugged. What's the migration bug? The migration bug is a little bit unclear to me, um, but intermarket migration categorically doesn't seem to work very well at all, and most migration seems to be based on um, uh, mass migration movements, but also some people are saying that some countries are just like randomly rolled to be bricked. I'm not sure if this is correct. Um, it categorically doesn't work if you have migration controls. You have to be on no migration controls to be getting it. Um, it seems like there's a lot of moving parts and a lot of people who are confusing the new system with bugs, and then also there seems to be bugs on top of it. So this, like, creates a bit of a problem. It seems super winner target call with the new system in terms of migration, because it seems more mass migration driven, but maybe it's not supposed to be more more, more, migration, more mass migration driven. Aren't you supposed to be able to change Cuba's laws? Oh, we could also change like that, yeah. But I was thinking we could start a play against them, but yeah, we could ask them to ban the slavery. Yeah, it looks like a lot of people are agitating for it anyways. Let's tell them. Let's tell them. Hello from Quebec, coming for y'all's job. No, not the Quebecis. Yeah, like, <laughs> the, the, I, yeah, my opinion on migration is that in general, and this is the general heuristic, there are going to be exceptions and there are going to be reasons for doing it, but in general, I think it's on the onus of the state, uh, to provide a reason for denying like an immigrant rather than uh, the onus being on the immigrant to give a reason for why it deserves to be uh, uh, a member. And to be fair, there's like a lot of reasons to disqualify. I think you just shouldn't allow, you shouldn't accept criminals from other countries. I think that's stupid. <laughs> But just like as a general heuristic, like the like the onus is more on the state to provide a reason, and I generally think that if anyone has a line a job lined up in another country, or at least in terms of like the country I want to live in with the country with the values that that country would have, I think that if they have a job lined up, you getting a work visa should be really 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 easy. Distance is a difference for sure. Yeah. I mean, distance is real difference. Two pandas are coming to San Diego to take our cuteness germs. Yeah, but the did you hear China took back all the pandas? No more panda diplomacy. So I w I've been to the San Diego Zoo and I've seen the pandas. Last time I went, no pandas. No pandas. We don't do that anymore. To be fair, I hate pandas, so that's fine with me. They are cute, though. I'd agree with that. You're more likely to... 
get a poor Canadian coming to the U.S. than a poor Iranian coming to the U.S. I would, I think that's probably true. <laughs> I just assume it'd be Brazil. Migrating from one continent to another is not cheap. Brazil. See a lot of Brazil comments. Oh yeah, 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 yep. For the France one, so that's what it was. Yes, that is the longest land border uh, that France has. But it's uh, interesting. It's not Spain. It just has to do with the map projection. Spain, Germany, Belgium, not longer than Brazil. You guys got it. It's wa I was so wild to me when I found that out. But like, that's the map projection. It makes Europe look huge. Oh, I'm finally caught up with the chat. Holy damn. One interesting thing I found is uh, is that if you suggest hiring more judges, court, staff, lawyers to process immigration requests faster, they get mad, even if it means getting people done faster. Yeah, and I, I mean, the, the way it functionally works, so people get mad and they say, look, uh, you should have to wait in line your turn, and like this type of thing, but like when the line is, at a certain point, the line becomes so long that there's effectively not a line, right? Um, and you get to skip to the front of the line, as far as immigration goes, for like a lot of reasons. And so, uh, for the most part, it's like um, you just like I've I've like read br very briefly someone's argument that it's like another form of like uh, imperialism where you just brain drain other countries. You allow only the immigrants that like are of upper middle class. Um, from other countries, and so, and you don't allow lower class immigrants, and you just effectively are brain draining them, uh, which is like a different form of like exploitation or something like this. I didn't read too much into that argument though, so I don't, I couldn't articulate it, but I thought it was like interesting. No, they took him from DC, but the pandas are coming to San Diego now. Are they coming back? Interesting. I thought they took him back because the breakdown in relations between the US and China. I still hate pandas, I think they're wretched animals, but. It's good for the San Diego Zoo. I mean, with criminals, it depends on the kind they committed, uh, like, if they're distanced. Yeah, I, I'm not trying to like, give a, like, categorical thing. I'm just trying to, like, give a rough overview of what my perspective is. Which is that there are reasons to exclude, but, like, the onus is more on the state. I bet panda beef would ha taste hella good. Maybe. People would get really mad if you ate a panda. <laughs> There's probably, there's probably not too many animals you could eat that people would be more upset about, huh? It's endangered and it's really cute and it's a symbol of, like, China. Yeah, that's just like, you just like, check all the boxes. For upsetting people, I think, with that one. Import. Yeah, I think we get important. The problem with our current system is people legally cross, get arrested, and released. We need more robust legal process and enforced border security. Yeah, I think whatever the law is, it should get enforced as well. Which some people have accused me of being inconsistent because of that, but like, whatever the law is, it should get enforced, uh, enforced. but I think the law should also be different. But yeah. Um, for a long time, it actually wasn't illegal to cross the border, and, like, illegal immigration was a misnomer, and you had, like, the, uh, the Republicans calling it illegal immigration. They actually made it illegal, so now it's illegal, is my understanding, but uh, when it wasn't really illegal, and then the, uh, the liberals called it undocumented immigrants, which is, like, also equally disingenuous, because, like... It's not the case that they don't have their documents in order, and it's just like a, 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 like a bureaucratical error. They never intended to like have their documents in order. <laughs> so it's just saying like, oh, they forgot their papers. It's like that's that's not what it's about. <laughs> but I also think that like like if you have family, like I think you should just be able to like zip across if you fa like if you pass a background check. The cartels game our immigration system. Yeah, I also think that drugs should be legalized. And that this is, like, the cartels uh, have too much power and they're just, like, funded with a ton of money. And, like, if you legalize drugs, you just, like, destroy the power of the cartels. It's just like how organized crime, like, during Prohibition had this huge spike. And then they, like, uh, they were against Prohibition, organized crime, because they could not acquire money the way that they had been doing 
if you get rid of organized crime. So like, um, yeah. Are we? Maybe we should have sent another guy over. Yeah, we should have. Also, France uh, borders the Dutch and the Caribbean, which is cool. Yeah. Sleepy European must sleep, but happy to catch the stream. Part of your stream. Keep up the good content and have a good night day. Have a good night, Mr. Jack. Godspeed. The brain train argument also requires that you financially or legally prevent the country from having a high paying industry. Uh, I don't, I, I mean like, so you can have consenting exploitation, uh, like resource exploitation, like Mongolia has sold a ton of its mining rights to China. And I would argue that that's probably exploitative. So like, I don't think it needs to be the case that you are preventing them from having a high paying industry like in a very direct and sense for it to uh, seems like some sort of materialism, uh, imperialism, but I'm also not, I'm also not defending this argument. I'm just saying that it was an argument that I've seen and I thought it was interesting. The fundamental issue with immigration is the companies uh, willing to use the cheap labor under the table. Yeah, I think you should take away the cheap labor and they lose a lot of pull if you take it away. Yeah. I think that uh, one problem is uh, companies, like, need to get super brutally punished for doing that. Um, because I, I also think that, like, uh, if you think that someone should be paid a minimum wage for a moral reason as a country, and you are paying a minimum wage, um, allowing loopholes that allow certain people to get paid less than a minimum wage is, like, a moral problem as well, right? Uh... Wouldn't panda beef be too fatty? You could probably trim it. Symbol of WWF, yep. No phrase is allowed until we, we can all agree on. No phrase allowed. Eh. If the furries aren't hurting anyone, I don't care if they dress up however they want to. I'm not on of that persuasion, but like, I'm generally pretty you're not hurting other people with what you're doing, you can kind of do whatever you want. It's kind of my perspective on things most of the time. Just some of that, I guess. God, we don't have rubber tools yet. It's terrible. Maybe the game should model tourism industry somehow. It was big business for some places, even in this period. I think that they should switch the arts, uh, like, uh, academies to, like, media. And that tourism could maybe be part of media in some way, uh, rather than it being fine art. Same with weed, allow it so it can be better organized and regulated. Yeah, so like if all drugs are legal and they get regulated, if someone ODs on fentanyl, or because fentanyl is like poisoning inside of a drug, you sue the crap out of the company, right? Like you also eliminate the overdoses, because the overdoses are occurring because there's not uh, a standardized like it's not because drug users are morons and, like, they can't dose themselves. It's that there's, standard, there's not a standardization within the dose. And so, like, if you have it be regulated, there'd be a standardization. You wouldn't, like, have people OD. And then there wouldn't be a criminal element, uh, depending on how much you tax it. If you tax it enough, it'll create a criminal element. But, like, a lot of people don't mind paying a little bit extra, like, the for the drug. Like, people pay alcohol tax rather than smuggling alcohol, even though there's a huge tax on alcohol. Just because they don't want the headache of, like, <laughs> uh, acquiring the moonshine that they don't know what the fuck is in it. Like, and people do the same thing with, like, other drugs, I think. Also, when you, uh, when drugs are illegal, you all always get, you will always have a trending towards using the most concentrated form of the drug because it's easier to smuggle, which is, like, one of the reasons why fentanyl's around. And if you just, like, uh, like, uh, w when alcohol was banned, you would have, like, near 200 proof alcohol because it was cheaper and easier to smuggle on a, like, per ounce basis. Um, and this is what people used. And then when alcohol became legal again, it's not like people kept drinking that. They chilled they, uh, out and they started drinking beer. Like, uh, if you made cocaine illegal, people would just start drinking coke with the coke back in it, uh... And they would not, like, necessarily just absolutely blast, like, these super high concentrations. Or they would, like, chew cocoa leaves or whatever for a caffeine pump that's, like, 
caffeine bump. That's, like, not super crazy. Like, if you look at, like, what people do when something's illegal in terms of illegal, or, and, like, which types of things they gravitate towards, it's, like... much infamy. This is a big chunk of infamy. I don't know if we want to go for that, to be honest. Definitely want to go for Iraq, though. That's like 100% of the slam dunk we go for. They will just accept banned slavery. The main reason we wanted to annex these guys was so that they couldn't sell the thing, though. I hate that they could do it. aggressively you can ban slavery yeah these guys are like hell no <laughs> well, we built a bunch of more navy huh yeah so we got some more of this some more of that. Let's find which more we want to do. And then we'll catch up with chat, which we've now fallen behind again. A little spicy in chat today. Although that's like partially my doing. Or I mean that's probably largely my doing. I should accept responsibility for spicing up the chat. Let's, we can take a crack at, well, probably Sulawesi, to be honest. But it's not terrible, though. Nez is actually pretty good. Yeah, especially if we're gonna get pump packs. Yeah, and they... The thing with Doc, uh... The thing with documents, your Pakistani friend has been trying for half a year to get their uh, documents because the bureaucratic system is equivalent of two kebab shops owners trying to... Yeah, so, like, this is the thing. is like, uh, also, like, when people ask, when people are like, hey, you should do get in line and do it the correct way, there also needs to, like, actually be, like, a functional line. So, like, um, I think in theory, like, when you're trying to apply for immigration, there should be, like, a threshold, and immigration should never take longer than X, Y, Z thing. Like, but that's also, like, a, a practical distinction versus, like, a theoretical distinction. And I think, in theory, if you have a, jo a job lined up, uh, your immigration processing, and you are from a country that can do a background check. Um, so, like, if USA just wanted to categorically deny admission from countries that can't do a background check, maybe I'd be on board with that. But if you could do a background check, Right, and your background check comes clean, and you have available employment. I think the longest it should take is like three months or something. But that's like a should, right? I don't know if that's practically implementable. Make sushi, you won't get it soon. Yeah. It's not illegal to enter as an asylum seeker. Yeah, but you have a lot of people who are not, would not qualify for asylum that are just saying they're seeking asylum. You can enter any way you want and turn yourself in and ask for asylum. Uh, then you can stay until a judge decides if you qualify. Yeah. But I, I think that, or my understanding is that that system is being like deeply abused currently. People need to get the revenues from the resources in order for uh, revenues from resources for it to not be exploitative. That slavery was consensual. Yeah. This is like. Just because something's ex consensual does not mean it's not exploitative. Um, which is a point I disagree with a lot of libertarians on. As someone who identifies with a libertarian, or libertarianism is like the closest thing. It's also about banking regulations in urban land. If, say, England owns it and most of the urban land is in some foreigner colony, then the company still can't be uh, globally competitive. I don't find new mobile worker system. I get stuck every campaign with Ottoman workers that are so much mobile between factories. Wait, what? I don't know what you're talking about here. 
Why did all of our trade routes get removed? Are we encountering a bug? Someone embargoed us? Maybe someone embargoed us. Didn't Seattle try discrimination but didn't expand any clinics? Decriminalizing but didn't expand any clinics? I don't know about Seattle specifically. I know Portugal did some stuff. There was someone in Portugal that was in chat. Um, also, like, I think that uh, you would have to consider doing it on a national level. But, like, uh, Switzerland had a system where, like, they decriminalized. Um, Portugal did. And I think Seattle did. And so... Um, Seattle might also simultaneously have confounding variables, right? Uh, and so, if you were to try and get into the nitty gritty, I think you would want to follow all of those case studies and also try and isolate to what extent struggles are a result of legalization and also successes are a result of legalization. Because, like, every metric in Switzerland, every metric you could care about, like, basically improves. Like, less ODs, and they were just giving out free drugs to addicts. Like, there's less ODs, uh, it was cheaper for the states to, instead of policing people, oh, this is where we lost all of our trades. Um, it was cheaper for the state to, instead of, like, actually, like, putting people in prison and stuff, to just, like, give them free drugs. Um, are there any of the DLCs worth, or just base game is fine to play? Base game is fine to play. If you like it, though, and you want to support the game more, you should probably buy the DLCs, something like that. Portuguese method for drug control has been working out great here. It is a uh, going after traffickers with a mix of uh, ambulant drug trucks uh, for addicts, and so they get controlled dosage. Yep. Um, this is my understanding of how it's going. Although um, Portugal notably did not legalize, they decriminalized. And what I'm proposing is legalization, which is that you should be allowed to sell it. Um, which is a different thing. And it's possible that, empirically speaking, decriminalization kind of works, but legalization doesn't. We have volunteers that know where the addicts are and go and give them fresh needles so they get, get transmitted diseases. Yeah. Yeah, my understanding is that Portugal has been doing uh, at least solidly on that front. Switzerland's doing really well, and um, uh, Seattle's doing poorly, is my understanding, but it's a very superficial understanding. It will be difficult to get a proposition across because I imagine even if uh, negative externalities of from drug trade uh, of illicit drugs are decreased, the usage of recreational drugs will probably become more prevalent and that's just uh, not desirable for much, so many people. Yeah, but if people are using less hard versions of the drugs. But yeah, I mean, abuse may... I also think people should be allowed to shoot themselves in the foot if they want to. Like, the state shouldn't have to protect them from themselves. So there's like... More than just the externalities, like, reason or exists for me being pro-legalization. But, um... I, I think you would get fewer people ODing, though. And also, I think you would also have fewer people ruining their lives. I think uh, a big part of... Uh, why drugs ruin people's lives is the stigma and the negative spirals, especially if they become a criminal, um, you know, because it's harder to become employed once you're a criminal and this type of stuff. And, like, the... Uh, I also think that uh, the war on drugs is enforced in asymmetric ways against different groups. Like, if you are, uh, if you are particularly wealthy, um, you can kind of do drugs and get away with it. And if you're, like, poor, it's a lot harder to do that. What's your favorite ice cream? Uh, it depends on my mm, what I'm feeling. There's like a few go-tos. Like recently, I was craving mint chocolate chips, so we got some of that. Um, uh, probably favorite overall is like um, drumstick ice cream, <laughs> where it's got like the bits of like waffle and chocolate and caramel in there, something like that. Would probably be my favorite. Yeah, I really like drumstick ice cream. That's kind of a weird one, I think, but... Cape Colony, we can get an obligation. What about these guys? Can't become subject. I think the UK is somewhat likely to side against us if we side in there, though. Just kind of peep in some of these, seeing what we can do. 
you just got here. I've probably been asked what's your overall take on 1.6. Uh, kind of four main points. Uh, first is migration's both weird and a lot different, but also um, might be broken, probably broken. I'm really not uh, very confident with this. It seems in either case, it's gonna be more winner take all and more mass migration focus, uh, which can change the metagame a little bit uh, because migration traction for um, mass migrations is going to be uh, based on the average of your incorporated states. And so it might be the case that you wanna do like weird stuff like not incorporate stuff uh, just start with as few states as possible and then like um, greener grass all of them in order to really pump up the mass migration in an interesting way so like I've been trying to think through what the strategy looks like as a result of like um, that being more the issue but yeah we didn't start getting a lot of migration until we caught up uh, to the USA in terms of our mass migration attraction we tried to pull it up at the ledger for whatever reason we couldn't I think we bricked it Okay, so this is the, how migrations, like how migrations actually occurring. We see a lot's coming down here, and it's coming to our place that has the mass migration traction, and then, uh, in particular, uh, we have. It's kind of winner take all, and we're twenty ahead of uh, the USA in terms of our average, and they've also changed a lot of the values. Um, where this is seems to be the attraction uh, instead of just flat standard living for your flat modifier now it's doubled standard living um, unused arable employment uh, seems to be the same with a cap of 25 but available employment seems to be 3x instead of a cap of 10 it's a cap of 30 and so um, standard living and available employment are way way bigger factors in terms of balance um, for migration so um, there's a lot to take uh, away from migration um, second thing was uh, diplomatic players are now transparent, and that's huge, and that's really, really nice. Third thing is they made performance worse. There seems to be a performance bug that is uh, overall slowing down the game. And the fourth thing is that uh, the construction queue is still bugged, unfortunately, which is why we are using uh, the queue as it is uh, with the things. Okay, let's Also, like, so here, we have peasants in these states. We're actually not going to build... Oh, actually, we're going to build... Well, no, we're not going to build there, because... What we care about is building more in particular in our areas that I'm gonna 51 this. Um, in areas that are incorporated because that's gonna improve our mass migration attraction. I think that's just not employing up. Oh, it is employing up, okay. We'll build in North Borneo then, I see you. Like this maybe. I'm Portuguese, general gaming. I'm also probably used to biggest headache, so two one. That's a two for we take those. Oregon decriminalized and I think they recently made drugs illegal again. Okay. So failed experiment perhaps. I don't I know less about Oregon uh or I haven't read as much about Oregon as the other two. But also like um if it's not working out, that's unfortunate. I also think that it's probably easier to do this sort of stuff on a national level than it is, like, on a per-state uh, level, but that's, like, a different thing. Portugal legalized everything and had a big addiction problem with the pandemic hit, if I recall correctly. I don't think Portugal legalized. There, there's a distinction to be made between legalization and decriminalization. I think Portugal decriminalized if I'm not... Yeah, 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 it's different. Um... But we have someone from Portugal saying otherwise, but the, just because he's from Portugal doesn't necessarily mean he knows, like, exactly what's going on, but I'm just wanted to point that out. What is this about? Huge French Republic thing. Could get an obligation. It looks like they lose this, to be honest. No one helps them. They only want to give us an obligation. They don't want to give us anything else. Why not colonize uh, Papa? Uh, we probably should. Uh, generally because uh, it's slower and you don't cut someone off and your colonization speed is actually like... Uh, the way it works is... Yeah, it's fine. You can colonize it. Um, it's split, so this makes our other colonies go slower. I just know people... Uh, I just know the town uh, basically said they... Uh, said just do it, but left it to one non-profit people to deal with getting treatment, so nobody could get deal, get treatment. Are you talking about Seattle, Washington? 
I'm back after a surprise neighbor visit. Big nice. Hey, political Santa, welcome back. I don't know why I went into that accent. Welcome back. How's game performance in the new update? Asked Alfred. It's worse. Although I think you're probably there for us talking about the other thing. Uh, the 1970s to 80s generations are scared because it had one uh, out of 20 deaths of the OD for youth. After a law was passed in the 2000s, we went from highest to lowest in Europe. Yeah, this is my understanding. It's like, uh, if you decriminalize or even legalize, like, you get way less ODs. And that's, like, the rallying cry for a lot of people in the United States is that, they're like, it's killing our youth. And, look, if you want to decrease the amount of youth that are dying, one thing you can do is you can just legalize it. Um, this would decrease the amount of deaths. I don't know, uh, uh, I think the evidence is really strong that it decreases deaths. It might not be the case that it decreases addiction, although there's some evidence to suggest that it would, um, but it, that it would decrease deaths is very probable, because a lot of times people are not ODing, because they know exactly how much they want to take, and they're blasting that exact amount, but they're trying to take a certain type of dosage. Um, they have inconsistent, like, uh, in terms of like the amount of like sac a psychoactive like uh what not elements but like the amount of like actual chemicals in the drug it's like different because it's cut differently sometimes it's cut with stuff sometimes it's not they don't know the concentration because the concentration isn't properly standardized and so they take way more than they intend and they just die and so like or like they take it and it's got it's laced with a, a little bit of fentanyl and it's not mixed very well and so they get like a portion of the batch that had a lot of extra fentanyl in it and so this kills them and like, if it was legalized, it wouldn't have this. We'd have to ban working too long if you wanted to protect people from their own addictions too. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm generally, I don't think empathy should generally inform political decisions. Um, generally speaking, or that people should be protected from themselves. But I also think that uh, people should be protected from like corporations. Those are good. For the ice cream, yeah, that's a good one. Drumstick, it's the uh, it's nice to have the the difference in texture with something that's crunchy, but like I the like chocolatey crunches are too chocolatey, so like that's kind of why I like the the waffle cone. You have a reinsertion program for drug addicts so they can live a normal life during uh, and post addiction. Yeah, one of the big problems is the, uh, in the U.S. you become a criminal and it's stigmatized, and once you're in the criminal system, you're just like. Uh, your life is just kind of ruined. Nixon is quoted, uh, is quoted his war on drugs, a word to target African Americans and hippies. Yeah, I also think there's definitely an asymmetric enforcement, but, like, I think if you're trying to make an argument against, uh, the war on drugs, you don't make it from this axis, because you're not really going to convince, um, I think you convince fewer people making the argument from this axis. I don't think you need to go there, but I also agree that it's, like, uh, it's disproportionately, like, if you look, I forget what the law was, so maybe I shouldn't reference this, but it was, like, for crack, which was, like, used more by, like, African Americans, like, uh, in a certain, I forget what state it was, like, you would get 20 years, but cocaine, you'd get three years, and it's, like, or three months in prison, and it's, like, just completely disproportional to, like, what the drug is actually doing, just, like, going after the drugs of choice of certain groups. Drumstick ice cream is a new term I wish I didn't learn. It's not like chicken drumstick, it's like the ice cream drumstick, drumstick ice cream. It's not like a chicken drumstick, if that's what you're thinking it is. But it is delicious. Okay, so now we're total separation, we're commercialized agriculture. The clout of the Catholic Church has gone down significantly, so now we want to think about maybe rolling. But we hate doing it. We'll also get super far behind in chat if we're doing it, to be honest. So maybe we roll a little bit. We're looking for that Intelligentsia Boyo that is not a land reformer, but this guy's not popular. So we're gonna promote him up. There's one guy who's popular that we do have to be cognizant of. Enlightened Royalist. Uh, unfortunately, he's not popular. I don't think we can get him to win enough battles to get popular, so that's, that is one of the ideologies we would need. Please just be the thing. All right, he's not popular. 
So we can just set him aside for now. Oh, wait, I forget we want to hire and fire these. Not oh, promote. Probably just should have actually looked at the intelligence here first. Humanitarian. Not popular, but we could get him popular. Could get him popular. So now we gotta find the guy who is liked and retire this guy. And we gotta use this guy to take something. Just add a whole bunch of this. We change the nature of this army, make it a little bit stronger. We can kind of do what we want to do. Although it's decriminalized, there's uh, an allowed amount you're allowed to have so that you, you can do it without being confiscated. It varies with the drug vote, yeah. Throwing, not deficit spending. <laughs> Has performance late game? Yeah, performance is per. Even New York uh, City and Boston have better transit. There's still intra-country migration. It seems like it's broken in some ways. I'm not 100% sure because a little bit happens, but it's really not a lot. If it's working as intended, it's like they decided to nuke it if it's wad. Um, yes, in large part due to the city's median incomes being more modest. Turns out decriminalizing and not building out treatment doesn't work as well. So Portugal decriminalized. Yeah. So, like, the, you also have confounding variables and stuff, too. Right? So, it's, like, it's not super straightforward to evaluate. But, like, if you think of it just from, like, the follow the money type of perspective, right? Um, where does a lot of the money go to when drugs are illegal? It goes to, like, cartels and stuff. And where does it go to in the case of, like, alcohol? It's, like, well, actually, alcohol is, like... The prices are pretty even across the board. You know, companies get a, paid a little bit of juice because the brand, there's a huge syntax, which I think you would syntax the drugs as well. I don't think you'd just like make it free or, or like, yeah, you, I think you would syntax it because you think that the drugs have negative externalities in a general sense. So you'd syntax it, uh, you'd generate revenue for the state, you would decrease the price of drugs, you would decrease overdoses, you would decrease addictions. Well, maybe decrease addictions. You definitely decrease overdoses. I think you decrease addictions, but that's like more of an empirical question that it's like maybe not. Um, all right, let's try going after Sulawesi. We're not gonna force it. If they back down, that's kind of fine with us. But if they don't back down, also fine with us. Because we want to use this gentleman to win some things. Can't recruit that guy. Can't recruit that guy. We're gonna recruit and then banish this guy. We'll get that navy over there. You can tell me the fastest way to fill the Suez. Make sure you take the entire state. Don't just take the treaty port. And use uh, an edict to get people to come there. Green grass. It hurts me seeing the USA didn't manifest the destiny. We've joined against them three times to prevent it. So this is why. Portugal, we also do important work uh, in schools educating kids about drugs. Yeah, there, I think there's also, like, the war on drugs is, like... Uh, politically charged as well. I don't think it's like people are detached from it in a political sense. The people who want to be like um, uh, tough on crime or whatever, for them that's like a calling cry. And like, also like, I think the incarceration rate in the United States is disgusting uh, for like non-violent crimes. Definitely if someone's like a violent criminal, like lock them up. I think the level of incarceration on drugs is crazy. 
I do know your uncle was one of the victims of the 90s drug craze. Family suffered a lot because of it, yeah. No problem, Frosty. We don't have too much uh, infamy, so we're kind of in good shape. You remember doing a drug work presentation every year in school back in the early 2000s? I'd point out that Portugal decriminalized before fentanyl got big. Yeah, I think that you want regulation of production. In particular, with the particular case of fentanyl, I think you actually pretty strongly want regulation of production, and you only get that if you legalize, which is sketchy. And it's hard to run, like, a pilot program for legalizing the drug, too, which would be preferable. I would really love it if, like, they would just legalize it in one state. But you can't just legalize it in one state, or not one state, one city in uh, the United States. And just uh, only the people, only the residents of the city can do the drugs. It's legalized. Um, they can do the drugs. They can produce the drugs. They can consume the drugs. It's just all, like, but, like, people just moved to that city just to do drugs, maybe. Or maybe they didn't. But what if we made it even more criminalized? <laughs> they wouldn't do the drugs if they thought it would ruin their lives, basically. Another ODing cause is because they try and quit and they come back to their normal dose. Yep, which, like, it wouldn't be a problem if, like, you regulated it, yeah. Still trying to find chemicals that wokes are putting in their water that are turning the frogs, <laughs> that are turning the frogs gay. Yeah, don't know how that works. I'm as incapable as America right now, the truth hurts. I just lost to the Central American Coalition. Oof. Is Morocco a subject? Morocco's been annexed. We did want to subjugate them, though. Well, uh, we might not actually even get the amount of battles in we want, need in order to get popular. If this happens. But this guy's got to come up uh, to positive popularity for us to exile and get him. Institutionalized racism regarding uh, the uh, prison. Yeah, that's kind of... Uh, I generally would... There are serious discrepancies among the races when it comes to incarceration rates. Interestingly, though, um, it correlates more strongly with the race of the victim than it does with the, the race of the criminal. So if you commit a crime against an African-American, generally you serve a much shorter sentence than if you uh, commit a crime against uh, like a white person. I found that super fascinating when I found it uh, when I found out about that statistic, where like the the, the race of the victim has a there's a stronger correlation between sentence length and victim um, race than there is uh, uh, the perpetrator race. On the topic of legalization, does legalization of loud cars suppress the number of loud cars outside or make it worse? It makes it worse. This is actually the perfect counter argument. Just kidding. We don't want to legalize anything. Right. Paradox should add new buildings and production chains. No, they shouldn't. That would crush uh, performance. Performance is already, like, one of their biggest problems. I am not pro more buildings. We hate the buildings. Let's try that. Crack had 101 sentencing disparity at the federal level. Yeah, that's nuts uh, relative to cocaine. I'm not saying that they're identical, but like, you know what I mean? Win some battles, bro. Paradox should add new building, uh, ch ch chicken drumstick ice cream. Yeah, that sounds disgusting. Like fried chicken ice cream. If that's what you thought I meant, I can understand you're disgust. That's not what I'm talking about. I wish that the Philippines didn't help us. I guess we maybe annex the Philippines next, huh? That's what you get for helping us out. We just wanted to win some battles with this guy. This guy's still got regular popularity. Yeah, sad. Lab cars aren't criminals, so it's a different type of legalization. So it's Lab cars are criminal, nor it's illegal to have cars over a certain decibel or whatever in a lot of states. Apparently not in Southern California. Is it too early to rule humanitarians? That answers that, yeah. Humanitarians are coming. 
decreasing addiction would require that the syntax be invested in addiction treatment and counseling services. Yeah. So this is what, yeah, what I would propose is you, you think something that has, uh, creates a negative externality to society. You don't ban it. Instead, you tax it is my preferred way of approaching these types of things. And you tax it in a way that you think offsets the amount that it has a negative consequence to society. Meanwhile, Portugal is the top wine consumer in the world. Yeah. <laughs> also, if you like legalize it, sometimes people just keep consuming alcohol. Also, in terms of just being consistent, like alcohol should be illegal. Like uh, if you were to make like all the same arguments, you were to just start from scratch in the United States. One third of uh, people incarcerated uh, in, are in jail and awaiting trial. Yeah, that's not good. Solid stream. We should all we all consume too much overall, not just wine. It's just too, food. We love our carbs. The truth hurts. What if we nuke the drugs? It sounds very American. Not gonna lie. Darkus is here with the loud car emote. No. We don't go hungry, not thirsty. Speaking of thirsty, thirsty. We gotta start a war to get this humanitarian to actually win the battle. Yeah, so many mass migrations with like really low level of SOL than we otherwise would have. I think the tripled available employment modifier is a huge driver of that, so that's going to become... Construction's not going to fall off as hard. You heard it here first, folks. Forced. One of the reasons construction falls off is because you run out of pops to de peasant but if the construction creates more pops to de peasant then it's less of a problem. We're just going to annex the Philippines then. Eche maybe sides against us. Australia maybe sides against us. We're going to take a save. Great Xing is, looks like they actually would want to side against us. I kind of don't want to fight Great Xing, man. I think that they clap our cheeks. I think they clap our cheeks. We do go hot or cold, though. Yeah. Paradox should remove buildings. Yep, yep, all of them. Just get them out of here. So we can annex one of these. Let's annex Chile. He's promoted all the way. He's an offensive planner. He's even decent. It's your first election? Big nice. Although, yeah, mail-in's pretty nice for avoiding lines. I mail-in. Can you go to jail for a loud car? Is it just a fine? Well, if you refuse to pay any sort of fine, eventually it's like there's a force at the end of it. If you refuse to pay the fine, I think it's just a fine. But if you get enough things that are fine, then you have to go to jail for it. Um, I think fines should also be proportional to your income if you actually want them to be a deterrent. Is the station troops an allied fix? I'm not sure. Well, I avoided the U.S. Civil War by five days because I passed the next checkpoint. Big nice. How do you treat ports currently work in game? Um, it allows you to trade with them with no tariffing. Or this is my recollection. I haven't, like, checked up super recently. But it allows you to trade uh, with them uh, no tariffing. Uh, on their end, but you can tariff, uh, and they can't embargo you. You just write across on a paper and hope the country gets better. This is the way. Yeah, so many mass migrations. We're not even, like, moving at a very, like, fast clip, because we're trying to get through the chat, but, um, a very, a lot, like, a ton of various different types, too. This has gone from, like, in the process of, like, I don't know, the last 30 minutes or, like, hour, this has gone from, like, 400-something thousand to 600-something thousand. And the buildings are, like, slowly employing up. We have, like, way too many, uh, whatever's, but... I guess we, like, we over... We allowed the, the railways to auto-expand, and it was a travesty. So. Hopefully we win some battles here. We'll keep an eye on this guy. Try and see. 
In New York, a lot of cars are illegal, but cops don't do anything about it. Yeah, so this is another problem. So they're putting in sound detector installations with cameras? That's interesting. Your issue was the far right results, which is why I'm not what I'm voting on. Oh. Hey, journalist, do you know of any factors in, uh, influencing obsessions forming? I think if there's a glut of the good in the market, they're more likely to form, but this is not uh, something I know a lot about. What did I study in uni? Sociology? I studied philosophy, um, and to a lesser extent, I also studied psychology, economics, and... Let's see. I, so I changed major several times. I, like, was originally a business major, then I was a marketing major. Um, then, like, somewhere in there is psychology, and somewhere in there is economics. So, but I eventually was a philosophy major, so that's, like, what I ended up being. It's the boy, the boy himself. We're waiting to see if he gets popular. If he wins this battle. I think birth and death rates should be more up tuned. They don't seem to matter much right now. Eh. They matter, it's just like in a slow way where it doesn't feel very good initially, but it like actually is pretty substantive, you know? Win this battle, get popular, man. I think we have to win more than one battle sometimes, though. Get in the Dutch. There's one thing I hate, it's the Dutch and tolerance of other people's cultures. Public ministry found no corruption in the Lutheran mining industry. Uh, this leads to the collapse of the government, which is bad. Might as well be friendly with Ching. Yeah, it means the other great powers have a harder time taking states off them. Sucks Argentina got one of these battles. Yeah, I mean, this is our only pushing guy on this front, so. You know what, though? You can't use our troops. Where is this? Formation settings. No borrowing. Or borrowing and lending of troops? Mm. Mm. Well, I think they can't push without us. So we'll just do that. I think we can push without them, but they can't push without us. Fine should be uh, proportional to the negative externality, I think. So, um, it depends what you want from the fine. Um, if you want the fine to stop the behavior, um, then you need it to be... Uh, if you want it to offset the negative externality, then yeah, you could do it uh, proportional to the negative externality. But if you wanted it to stop the behavior, if that's the point of the... If it's supposed to be acting as a deterrent... Um, then it should be proportional to the person's income. Because effectively, um, speeding isn't a crime if you're rich, right? Um, but there's a little bit of nuance there. I, I mean, I think some things... Uh, so, like, uh, a seatbelt ticket... Well, I think that shouldn't be a ticketable offense, so that's a poor example. But I think with some things, you should, like, try and have it act as a deterrent. But, because you actually just want the behavior to stop. But in instances of th something causing a negative externality, and you're okay with the externality, and okay with the behavior, you should tax to that. If it's something you just don't want anyone to do, like, you don't want anyone to speed. It's not the case that you want people to just pay more to speed. You w you don't want them to speed at all, right? Otherwise, you would have a different... Like, there wouldn't be a speed limit. There would be, like, a speed tax. So if it was, like, a speed tax, then I would want it to be proportional to the externality, but if it was, like, a limit, then I'd want it to be the other way. Please send our boy in there. That was my boy, Blue. We conquer Beijing here, sir. We do. Hey, General, it's great to see you. how much your channel's grown. I appreciate your content a lot. Greetings from Brazil. Thank you for thank you to Brazil. All right. I hopefully I think this guy's pushing here. So 
Positive popularity? No. We might start rolling again. So I think it has to be like very big battles or multiple battles. And this guy keeps stealing our thunder, stealing our battles. Oh, but if they get a bunch of extra cloud here, that'll be nice for us. Hmm. Huh. I don't think we can yo-yo sway here. Look up the most expensive speeding ticket in the world. It was based on proportional income and it was huge, which is cool. Yeah. So the I, I mean, but the I, I can get behind. I wouldn't hate a system where you're explicitly kind of saying, hey, it's a, more of a speeding tax than a speed limit. And so we're going to do this a particular way. Okay, yeah, we can. Because we're involved in a play. Yeah, proportional fines would be a significant step to equal, equitable punishment. Um, I don't know if I'd frame it in terms of punishment, more in just acting as a deterrent. But yeah, I mean, like, I guess you could call it punishment, too. But the point is, is, like, um, if it's a $50 speeding ticket and you make a million dollars, you really, you're just, all it's doing, it's more about the inconvenience of being pulled over than anything else. But I wouldn't say a fine for something that costs money to do is the equivalent of a fine for simply being poor. Yeah, exactly. I think. Depends on what you're saying exactly, I suppose. Are you getting popular? You're about to win a battle. No. Treaty force can be stronger by enforcing free trade because ever, not everyone else is included. Uh, it's still excluded. Yeah, exactly. So it is stronger, but it costs... Uh, you have to pay infamy for the thing. So, um... Is it okay if I say good you left business major? Yeah, I mean, if you want. But it's not like there are philosophy factories. Like, there's really not a lot you can do with a philosophy degree. It's, it's like kind of a Ponzi scheme. The only thing you can do with it is like teach philosophy. The only thing you can do with it is trick other people to, to doing the same thing as you. <laughs> so, it like, it really looks a lot like a Ponzi scheme. You could also become, go into law, but I didn't want to go into law. They sure manage if you retain Papa's China. 1% of 350 million is significant. Yep. Whoa, it's not what we wanted, really. Alright, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna recruit some more guys. We're gonna see if we can find ourselves a guy. Feminist that's liked. It's not what we want. Uh, I don't think we want to recruit into this. I think we just want a new fleet. Oh, what's the, how long till the election? 73 days. Maybe we should wait till the end of the election. Integral list. Don't see these too often. There's our liked humanitarian. Let's go. Let's just save just in case we have one sitting around that we're not aware of. Do we play the flag mod? No. The flag mod with a flag mod. Okay. I know a lot of people play with the like anime wife as flag mod. Or like people in my Discord. <laughs> Oh, uh, we'd love to be able to impact birth rates and death morts uh, more. Uh, I kind of wish that uh, when you do reach that SOL sweet spot is uh, way more births than it is. Yeah, but they're overall, they tried to decrease the numbers of pops. You can play Victoria Tweaks mod. Um, for that mod... Um, uh, 
For Victoria Tweaks mod, there's a lot more population growth uh, overall. But you'd maybe just want to go straight for, like, uh, a different sort of mod. We're pretty excited to see what happens when we get multiculturalism on this, so this is probably going to be, like, the point we're playing towards, or, like, what we're kind of doing. TLDR for the elections, so the old prime minister resigned uh, as he was allegedly involved in corruption scandal. Oh yeah, this is Portugal. With the lithium mining industry, the issue was the person involved wasn't him, it was someone else from his government with the same name as him after five Jesus. Once it was deemed that there was no corruption found, so those early elections uh, that the president didn't allow to change due to nothing. Okay. The fine punishes you for being floor. Just to be clear, like, if you're being fined for something, you should probably be fined, but uh, it punishes you disproportionately for being poor. We don't hate public schools. Yeah. Given that the public is uh, pays a lot when people are seriously injured, unnecessarily from not wearing a seatbelt, finding someone for not wearing it is appropriate. Yeah, but the, the, what? I think that that person specifically is injured, but if you have, uh, if you have health, public health insurance that the public has to pay for it, but then, uh, what it would, what I would, the way I'd rather approach that is then, if it's expensive to the public health insurance, then you could get a special license to not wear your seatbelt, and then you would just have to pay like a premium to not wear your seatbelt, rather than like banning wearing the seatbelt or whatever, as an approach, generally speaking. Alright, we have so much info for stat, we're just gonna send this to outer space. Is the construction bug not fixed? No. If you really wanted to turn it, it should be a jailable offense. I, I, I don't, it, well it is over a certain speed, but like I don't know how I feel about that. It's also easy to hide wealth and income, so uh, the properly rich can game that. Uh, they can make it harder to game it. Like, the it being easy to game is, like, part of the complicity. So. We could maybe reverse sway. Ooh, French went to commune. It do be like that sometimes. I suppose we do need to eventually go for this, right? Who was, who was the scary one before? I think we're not too scared of Brazil anymore, to be honest. Oh, they've increased the size of their army as well. That Joe's... Oh, I didn't mean to increase that. I meant to increase this. Do you have any expeditions you can send him out on? Oh, this would be another thing. I think he used to have Explorer. I don't know if he had Explorer, but we already got it. Some people on the left believe it was a coup d'etat by the president and the public ministry because they had an absolute majority. Interesting. W. But we're almost caught up. To, of course, determining the correct uh, sum from the sign would require a unified bureaucratic system. Yeah, I mean, I think it should be like, there should be a f price f floor and then it should be proportional to income. In the case of speeding. There are other fines that I think maybe should just be like, uh, well, it, it depends if the, if something's acting as a, uh, to account for externalities, it should just be whenever you pay money associated with that thing, you just have to pay more, and if something's supposed to be a deterrent, you should have, I think it should be proportional, generally. Guatemala, maybe, Nicaragua, maybe. Brazil, maybe, Scandinavia, maybe. USA is kind of 
I was just kind of looking, peering over our shoulder a little bit with that one. I don't think I like that. I don't think we want to reduce autonomy. We thought about going for Persia. I mean, we could still go for Persia. Cuba doesn't like it. Afghanistan. Sin doesn't like it. Iraq doesn't like it. A lot, maybe. Austria and Russia are both like kind of close on the fence about that, which kind of we don't like. Kind of thought Java was we maybe don't go for. Him. So I think maybe we go after Benin now. Benin or Uruguay, I guess. Fines for corporations should be way higher so that they don't do illegal shit. Yeah, so you you want it to actually act as a deterrent, not being a price of doing business. So I think like the fines for like oil spills should be way higher. And if it crushes the company, then that's like that's capitalism, baby. Like, um, you know, in capitalism, companies died. Like that's how it works. Uh, and if it's uh, such that you can't take the risk. You could also, like, tax along the way if the risk is really low and the rewards are, like, really high for taking the risk, but, like, it's catastrophic when the risk happens. You could just, like, um, if you d decide to drill in a high-risk region, you have to pay a constant, like, uh, penalty or tax to do so or something like this to, like, uh, offset the externality over a long period of time rather than wait for the cataclysmic option and the bankruptcy of the co uh, corporation. Portuguese far right would be considered communist by the U.S. standards. Everyone's kind of communist by U.S. standards. Or for a lot of people on the right on the U.S. kind of... Uh, U.S., generally speaking, is more conservative than, like, most of, like, Europe or whatever. Why the hell did we lose our native interests in the region? What the... F Bro. That's so dumb. We're gonna load, because we've been protecting Mexico this entire time. And we want to keep protecting Mexico... Or maybe we just deck on, like... Bro, the way interests work is so frustrating sometimes. Because we've been, like, literally, like, stopping anyone from messing with them this entire time. I also don't want to load this far back, though. Yeah, this place just started forever ago. We just noticed now. Return Texas, Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona. Germany sided with Mexico. Maybe they can win. Whatever. I'll just try to... Man. So if you build it, they will come. We're thinking we're free stat. Maybe they come. Maybe they don't. Even with private insurance, the police have to help. First responders have to scrape you off the payment. Uh, this sort of stuff. Yeah, but that's, uh... Well, you have to pay for the ambulance. I guess you don't have to, like, pay for the police and this type of stuff. Um, but that... You could say that that comes out of your auto insurance when you crash. I'm also, like, that's not... That's not a law I'm, like, I care too much about, like, trying to overturn. <laughs> That's not the hill I'm trying to die on, either. Alright, well, now we can also just annex more in the U.S. sphere. 
as well, and they're very less likely to mess with us because, well, Russia's actually much more likely to mess with us here, but let's just do this. Oh, I think they might even have an alliance with Russia, so maybe we just, like, kind of shot ourselves in the foot here. Alright, we'll try and get it done either way, I guess. Even if Russia joins. They don't like us very much. We don't have a trade agreement with them. They're one of the few. Some jurisdictions charge X over something, like dri stop driving and we'll jail you and impound the car. Well, stop driving, I think, is different, right? Because you're driving the... I don't think not wearing, not wearing a seatbelt doesn't make me more likely to crash into someone else and damage someone else's vehicle. I think it's, like, an important distinction. Insurance rates are predicted on inflows and outflows regardless of ownership scheme. It's a weird spinning flag, it's Iberia. Yeah. Social cost of the fatalities and injuries uh, produced by people not wearing seatbelts is far greater uh, than, but I don't want to be wear a seatbelt being infringed. Well, I mean, I think, uh, I think that if someone like wants to literally shoot themselves in the foot, they should be allowed to. Um, and I don't necessarily know if other people are holding like that same type of opinion, but um, that's how I look at it. Right, so if they... Ooh, they could target us for the raid. And Wubu for the follow. Wubu, 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 wubu. Big nice. Wait, did Targus raid me earlier and I just saw it now? I guess I might not have a raid notification sound. Um, let's make a new army for defense, because we kind of co-opted our defense army. And, uh... Do that. Stalwart Defender. We'll put him on last stand because he has to make sure they don't make it into the capital. And we'll make him the normal color we have for National Guard. We're also just trying to land with these boys. Which should do a pretty good job. Was Bordeaux colored France WTF? It's because they went commie. Scandinavia sided. Well, we don't like the Scandi plus the Russia. This is kind of a little bit uh, annoying. Oh, but Scandi abandons? Yeah, that's probably fine. Let's get ourselves a permanent Pacific Coast uh, interstay. So we're going to take. Uh, war reps and Alaska, I think. Which means we want this other fleet. Put them over here. And a small stack. Put them over here. We will have these guys land Russia. We'll take Alaska. Which will make US come after us more like often, but we'll see how that goes. Can we play Ottoman in next live? I don't think I'm gonna do Ottomans, I think I'm gonna do something that interacts interestingly with the migration. Capitalists are uh, pro socialism. What? When they are needing government help. Ah, yeah. It do be like that sometimes. Yeah, pe people are. <laughs> yep. Right along the way, uh, or require insurance bond for the cost of the catastrophe, which is kind of the same. Yeah, but the... Uh, one of those will get implemented more evenly, I suppose. I, th I think I'd prefer insurance bond than um, 
Uh, because if you have people pulling over and specifically assigning tickets, that introduces the cops' bias, and so I'd rather just, like, force the thing. I guess, if you're, like, if you don't have a ticket, you have to, like, pay more, or you, uh, you r lose some of your insurance payout or whatever. Conquer Alaska. We have an interest. Why is Alaska not on here? Alaska's probably just on here. We can't read. I hate it when we can't read. It's the least favorite thing ever. It says Pacific Coast interest activated. There's Alaska there. There's Alaska there. Whoa, it had a lot of... That cost a lot of infamy. What the frick? How many people are in Alaska? Pray tell. Half a million. Don't see that too often. That's interesting. Got some Inuits. All right, well, I guess we're gonna pay the price for Alaska, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, it's normally not that caked up. I think uh, if it was a fine, it uh, could be paid in shares. A lot of companies would be more careful about what they do. Well, the fine just needs to be way bigger for like oil spills type stuff. The government could just find in money and buy in shares if it wanted to influence the company's future behavior. But the US government, well, the US government traditionally doesn't seek ownership of company <laughs> or ownership of companies, like as a general heuristic. Alaska's always super easy to take. We should have taken it way long ago, though. Now it's actually, like, a ton of infamy. Uh, let's check and see what the mobilization... Oh, yeah, we definitely have first aid by now. Yeah. like this. Oh, we silly. We should have done it before. Whatever. Wait, what the hell? Why can't we land Alaska? There's no wait. Why can't what the fuck is this? Can't navally land Alaska? This is a new change? Uh, did you manage to figure out migration? Kind of. I think it's bugged as part of the problem. It's a bit of a shame. I think I won't be touching Vic 3 until a few, a few hot fixes or even spheres of influence. Definitely seems like there are significant kinks, yeah. No solution for internal migration. It seems kind of bugged. Or it seems bugged in the case of homeland states. I think that uh, if you if you get a mass migration from one, like from Slovaks or whatever, uh, and you get it in two spots, they can migrate between the two. But it seems to, like, having to do with your primary culture or the starting cultural communities, it seems to be not very responsive. I don't know why we can't land Alaska. Does anyone have any idea why we can't land Alaska? Do they nerf the register? I... Wait, I mean, why can't we land Alaska? They have ports. What? Does guy have to be mobilized? No, he can land anywhere but Alaska. What is this? It's not even read it out. Why? It occupied by someone else? Is it that type of bug? I'm so confused. 
Is the last guy isolated? Nope, they have 100% market access. Switch sides and capitulate that part if we can manage to win this. Because. I mean, maybe you shouldn't be allowed him to cheese. So it should be harder to cheese Alaska, anyways, right? But, like, we don't put in that war goal if we know that you can't land Alaska. What kind of, like, not. It's not even eligible. It's just impassable. Oh, it's just impassable. Alaska is just categorically impassable. Is this how it's supposed to work? Didn't they say specifically that they fixed impassable terrain bugs? One does not simply land in Alaska, I guess. UI bug, maybe reload, gotta be a bug. Well, I mean, maybe, well. You, you ask the Alaskans, they say it's impossible to invade. Maybe it's connected uh, by land to Siberia and it's just considered isolated because it's too cold. That's news to me, I guess. So we see that. That's Alaska. That's part of Alaska. Maybe it's connected by land to Siberia. I mean, it's never been connected by land to Siberia, but I don't see a thing. I mean, we saved and reloaded so we could try and land it again, but... Chukoka! Ch Ch oh, this is, this is also impassable. Oh no, it's just the upper portion that's impassable. This part doesn't say impassable. Why is the, why can't you do, you just can't land these? What? The north is all impassable, it's just lower. Maybe it's because it's unincorporated. You can't land unincorporated territories, really. The impassable terrain in Chile said they fixed the issue, no longer impassable. Yeah, they just moved it somewhere else. I mean, it was connected by land to Siberia 10,000 years ago. Paradox bringing back the ice straight. It's impassable in your game too, frozen port maybe. Must be impassable terrain glitch, not naval landing, just hovering over. So here we get the message, no passable provinces, right? We just don't, we just can't even, like, it's not like we're getting this. It's just bugged. You just can't land in. All right. I mean, I'm going to screenshot this. That's what I'm doing right now. This is such a like classic playtime in Spain. Try right clicking on Alaska. Plan a naval invasion. Okay, thank you. Wait, nope. Okay, our six stack has commanders. So we yeah, we just can't. Okay, fair enough. 
we will just play pretend. Invade Canada to take Alaska. I mean, that might not be impossible, but yeah, I guess that's the, that'd be the way to go. How's migration, Generalist Gaming? <clears throat> um, it seems to be partially bugged, at least for internal migration, or that they just basically don't want internal migration to happen, uh, or market in, intra-market migration. Mass migrations seem the, the way that you're going to be going, which leads to some interesting things. In particular, they've rebalanced um, SOL, so now it's double SOL gives you a flat modifier, and the available mo employment modifier is now 3x from before. And so this allows you to really pump up the numbers. Also, um, your mass migration attraction, which appears to be now how you gain pops, but this might just be because internal's broken, um, seems to be, uh, it seems to be the case that um, you really, really care about average of incorporated states. So this means one, you probably want to incorporate a little bit less aggressively so you can push the mass migrations. Um, uh, but two, I forgot what two was. My bad. But yeah, it seems, it seems, oh, it seems very winner take all because it's just kind of like a matter of having more of the modifier than the other people. It's a shame we lost our interest in here too. I'm kind of frustrated after losing the interest and now we can't land Alaska. Uh, we might be, I, I think we're going to get multiculturalism and sit on it for a little bit, but, like, I think we're going to be done after that. I don't know. This is this is a hot mess. Do I see a Japan nerf? Uh, I don't think necessarily. Playing tall might also be more viable than it was before as a result of mass migration being the way you game pops and the way it works. Probably don't have very many engines. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Or something like that, maybe. Do you not like 1.6? Uh, I mean, it's got issues on release. I really like that Diplo plays are more transparent, but there seems to be, like, really significant, like, the migrations may be bugged, maybe not. Not sure exactly if it's flawed. Um, I mean, parts of it are definitely bugged. Um, the game is slower. The, um, most frustrating bug is still in place, which is, um, been in the game for, like, five months now, so that's a bit of a disappointment, which is that private construction queue is not working properly. Tall United Netherlands, just about the right size, exactly the right size. So is Korea. These are the two five like country tall country like guys, and so um, I'm like disappointed. Like here we can't land Alaska. It's apparently not allowed. Like um, uh, I think it, like the main thrust of the patch was improving performance. Uh, was my understanding as I read it. Uh, performance seems worse. Um, they were doing it through migration. Migration kind of seems a little bit broken uh, as well on top of that. And, like, um, so, yeah. By the way, at least you can fully colonize Hokkaido. Last patch you couldn't colonize a few of the passable islands. Yeah, I guess that's something. 
Uh, migration, I mean, maybe the migration changes I think are good. I, I think we have to, like, wait and see, but I think that this is gonna be probably my last session on this patch, to be honest. On this exact patch. Like, so 1.6.2, maybe we play more, but, like... I, I mean, I guess a lot of people are watching, I suppose. Maybe we'll play just because people are interested. Um, even though less people, not that many people are playing. We have, like, a little over 100 viewers right now. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Well, like, maybe I'm just... I'm probably just frustrated right now, especially just because we got the back-to-back, -back, like, Russia, like, being a problem, and the Mexico, the unassigning of our, our, our interests when we are trying to defend Mexico pretty aggressively. Um, so... Absent street edges time. Oh, that's not spreading, so let's go pop jacks into vulcanization here. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just frustrated right now by this not being able to land Alaska thing, which is just like super broken. Has it felt broken? Just nerfed? Um, people, inter, inter market migration does not, it do, seems broken, and as the US, you get, are getting a lot of mass migration or external migration such that it might be that you're not noticing it. Maybe you can only enable and invade progresses that are mass migration targets, maybe. I mean, you could get, uh, even. You could get even the impossible lands of Hokkaido, not with, uh, but not with frontier colonization. Oh, interesting. That was a thing? But yeah, I don't know. We're gonna swap sides to Russia and capitulate here, probably. I, mean, I don't want to try and land their capital. I mean, maybe we could just land their capital. Are they not defending it? I guess we'll just at least try to land their capital, but this is, like, stupid. Well, it's also stupid that you could always take Alaska and war reps, and that this is just, like, a thing that you just, like, always do, right? So, like, um, that's probably not worth that much, like, thing. Let's put this on the right front. I feel you. State of the patch is frustrating. Yeah, it's also frustrating. Uh, I'm also pretty frustrated by the, the the Steam numbers. The fact that, like, when we looked yesterday, less than 5,000 people were playing. But, I mean, there's higher viewership on the streams and stuff. So, like, maybe this is fine. But, like, um, I was hoping the, the... Yeah, I don't know. We gotta think about things. Oh lord, Great Britain, what flavor of Great Britain revolt do we have? I think it's, it might be communist. Religious revolt. Apologies. So, I, I imagine we don't get in here, but, because they, all their troops should be back there, but, like, if we just, like, insta get in, this would be fine. We would have definitely had Alaska by now, unless they, like, actually made them defend Alaska properly, which, like, okay, maybe you could do. Okay, it looks like we're actually gonna have to fight through landings, and they're gonna have a ton of guys here, so we're just gonna swatch sides and capitulate. Yeah, they're losing some money. Which, of course, breaks our ability to get achievements, but that's super whatever. If we were about that achievement life, we wouldn't have done that, though. And that, unfortunately, nukes our charts. Or a lot of our charts. Well, I want private construction queue back, man. 
Look at some of these trade routes too. Just absolutely massive. Convoys are way more useful when you don't have the private construction queue, because if you are making a mistake, it like kind of fixes a little bit better. to stay paused. And so here, I think we're actually not supposed to, um, we're not supposed to incorporate this stuff. And the reason being is that if we incorporate, uh, we will lower our average migration attraction by a lot because these have the turmoil negative modifiers so we have to wait for a turmoil to go away and i think that this is a play pattern that's um going to change as a result of migration so i enjoy watching but not wanting to play with all the bugs so i let you find the bugs yeah we also got alaska i don't know how many there are so many pops here to be honest Let's see, where are these guys from? There should be a fleet that has a bunch of guys from Alaska. I think they're supposed to make it easier to find Eastern Andalusia. To be fair, we're building out of everywhere, so that's kind of... Los Rios, Julia Boulevard. Are they Shadow Realm? Where the hell is the Alaska fleet? Is there no one here? Bueller? It's fully employed. We would like to delete these. The 10th Iberian fleet. The 10th Iberian fleet is right here. I guess we shouldn't have fired them all immediately. We should give them other jobs. lot of native uprisings. It sucks that this also has such a negative modifier on migration attraction. We cannot navally invade because we are not at war, yet we are at war. We are at war with ourselves. We are at war with the nature of war itself. Truly. This is a time of all time. Of all the times this is one. People like seeing other people struggling with Bash not playing themselves. Yeah. Oh, works out because it was glitched, uh, thinking I still occupied it from the last time as I subjugated him. Perfect. Iberian Alaska, the best timeline. That's true. That's fair. We should pride ourselves on Iberian Alaska. Mexico almost looks like a lobster, which we do like it when that happens. Unfortunately, that's happened because we were not able to defend them when we wanted to. So, kind of hate that. But it'll be easier to get them as into our, like, sphere of stuff. They're not in our customs union anymore. They left. Yes, in the gold mines you go military. Yes. The literacy targets for egalitarian society and reading campaign activate are surprisingly frustrating if you don't, which is why it's an after finesse migration and social mobility. Yeah, but you can also just take the company in Svealand and get 100% literacy. Easy peasy. Super easy. But we do want to see what the migration attraction looks like. Does, uh, switching countries still erase your GDP graph, so you can't see where you came from. Yep, yeah, this is the this is the worst. We lost access to the graph. 
I could not bear not being able to land Alaska. Of course, now we will have a bastion. We will be unannexable because Alaska is not landable because of reasons. Because of reasons. So. We'll do that. Then you come to the dark side for the... Or not subscription, but the follow. Spain is with them having naval battles every day and conclusively Le Mans, basically. Spain is... Spain without the S. Yeah, this is just a little bit rough, man. They want public schools after this multiculturalism. Damn you, Ericsson Company, or bless you, basically. I think it's damn you. We're not a huge fan of that. Ottoman of Greeks are going to Navarra. Yeah, so it's, it's the Ottomans' time to shine. They got a bunch of turmoil from reasons. So now we're getting a bunch of these guys coming in. Big nice for us. Big sad for them. Let's export sulfur. Pretty aggressively. You really want sulfur stuff to play up. It's really valuable. We have a ton of sulfur as well. Do hike you hate that event. Uh, where did all of our good relations with GPs go? Down the drain. All the years of the academy wasted. I don't know if there's a reason for us to have anchorages, so we're just gonna swap over. I don't think we want, you know. Micronesia uprising. I mean, we have a lot of infamy, so we kind of don't care about stuff anyways. Wait, where's the uprising? Was it against someone else? I'm so confused. I am very confused how we could colonize Bengala, actually, there. Oh, because it connects over here. Yeah, okay, fair. We see you. I mean, we're gonna get most of this colonization through ourselves. New strat, go to war in Europe to create turmoil to create migrants. Base. I actually think that this is probably part of the strategy. If you could get them to open their borders, like, turmoiling Qing to cause massive mass migrations seems, like, really strong. But they'll immigrate everywhere. It won't be just to you. Uh, because, like, uh, you'll plummet, when a bunch of Qing pops come in, you'll plummet the migration attraction. Are we doing an Inca here? I think we were using increased migration thing. Oh, we are, it's just bugged out that it wasn't showing. Yeah, there's so much available employment here. And it's coming on up. Thank you. 
lot of stuff to reduce autonomy on. I guess we maybe go for Costa Rica. Maybe Nicaragua first. That way we can do it through naval landing even if someone weird sides against us. They went the way of Alaskan naval landings. Historically, small groups of Chinese and Japanese migrants left otherwise isolated nations to work overseas and sent money back home. Yeah. Then the current system just like, well, like, I mean, I think they responded to a complaint where that, I mean, do you guys remember, maybe you guys don't remember this, but the meta was pulling Qing into your market and then just getting millions and millions of pops and that just like, I mean, I think that what is going on currently is an improvement. I think that that, like, being weirdly meta was like, strange. And so in Nicaragua, we actually have to get on the other side of the Panama Canal. Bro, it's so sad Colombia, like, can sell the thing when they're your subject. Oh, hey, 32 infamy above 25. Yeah, we didn't even read how much Alaska took. And they had a population of 500,000, uh, so it was, like, way more than we had anticipated. I'm scared that Paradox will start stop developing the Q3 after Spheres. I mean, I think if Spheres is... Spheres would have to be insanely unsuccessful. We're going to reduce taxes so that we are in 91 legitimacy, but I, I don't think that that's likely for them to stop developing. I think they've learned from the other thing. All right, so this is kind of what we were waiting for, everyone. Do we just start spiking a bunch of mass migrations or no? Now, it, it does have to calculate on a monthly basis cultural communities. So I think it's only on a monthly basis. So, one month has passed. So we have Manchu, which is new, right? Um, and definitely a pop. We've previously only been in Europeans. We have Fang. So that was, was that for December? Is it not calculated on the first? You're playing on high AI aggression? No, just standard. My games always have conservative and isolationist IL. Why do you have a French commune and form Germany? Maybe it has to do with the level of trade we're doing with them? I'm not sure. Well, they'll definitely stop development when they make Victoria 4. So we get Melanesian. So it seems like we're starting to push. So I, maybe this is the thing to watch, where this is multiculturalism. Yakut. To be fair, previously you would get a ton from this, but... I think you changed migration law are all open, but I don't know, yeah. Crazy that you only made it through 10 years, yeah, it's kind of slow. But we were going speed 3 because we were like kind of yellowing over a lot of political discussion earlier. Talking about immigration and banning the uh, drugs. And taxes and externalities and stuff. I mean, it feels like we're getting a lot of pops here. I wish you could hover the thing and see what the exact number is. But we're at 54 million now after we've gotten several of these things. Oh, I thought we had to go to the other side to land it. Oh well. 54.1 million. Just a little later. Can we hover this? 
Annual projected pop growth gives you 4.2 million. Freaking Frick, I keep forgetting where it, Gambia is. Is it I think it's just over here, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Fifty one, a few of these. Which will increase the migration attraction of these places a lot. In theory, we should kind of just look where we have a lot of earnings. Absolutely, going to need some railways in Castile. Solved all the infra problems. Mansion wave would be especially large. Yeah, I mean, like, so we just commented a little while ago being exactly 54 million, and now we're at close to 55 million, so really does feel like we're coming up at a clip that's. I think this is faster than the previous patch, so in regards to us getting a bunch of migration, mass migration, I'm not sure. You're siphoning all of Russia's pops? Yeah. But it's a lot more that we weren't getting before. That's an accurate state of the patch. Let's see James's emotes. Let's see Paul Allen's emotes. I have to like look on over to the thing. Yeah, that is about the state of the patch. I don't know, it's rough. It's like, I don't know. Super hyped over the other stuff. Spheres of Influence stuff. That's gonna be super dope. We're at exactly 1k construction though, which also feels pretty nice. So now, in the span of, I guess we should have seen what date it was, we've gone up to 55 million. I think this is more vertical than normal. A little bit hard to tell, I suppose. But if pops are worse at escaping, but like in this time, well actually, we, we, should, we should, the USA should be doing a little bit better now, now that they're just cranking away. Uh, because they should be able to pull the European pops a little bit better than us. If we're pulling a bunch of non-Europeans and stuff. Azerbaijani. Yeah. Benjar Peasant Revolt. So. I mean, the metagame is still probably... It's not like 1.5.5. 1.5.5 was just like full on discriminatory migration. It didn't matter. You could just blast and it's like it didn't make a difference. And this d definitely doesn't seem like that given the like sharp differential here between multiculturalism and not. I wish we didn't have that spike up from us annexing the guy, but the this looks decidedly like we have this, which is before we kind of caught up to the USA's number, and then this being on the USA's number, and then this going multicultural is in total separation. And then we like uber pop off. The big challenge is opening up all those closed border states with no CB to do it. Yeah, there's no CB, but I'm not sure there should be a CB. Otherwise you would just open Ching's market like every, I mean it would just become, they closed their market for a while, a, a reason, they closed their migration. I mean, I guess you could put in a CB, but like, but with the, there's not much historical basis. We got the Kurds. But there's not much historical basis for like, hey, let us steal your population. Is there? Kidnapping, I guess? It's like a little bit of a weird one. But like, okay, now we're up like 2 million pops. Which is like a pretty, 
pretty sharp clip. Because I think... Okay, I guess maybe like a year-ish in game has passed. Something like this. Maybe a little bit less. And we've gotten 2 million pops. Which is roughly 6x our pop growth. Levels. It feels like we're getting more notifications than normal when you get onto uh, mass migration, or like when you get onto the thing. Oh, the Africa army assimilated some guys that wasn't supposed to. It's fine. I don't think we're. I think we're kind of wrapping up here. We're just kind of watching the the mass migrations, trying to get a feel. What's our level of the thing, anyways? Bro, this bug is annoying. A bit of that pop growth might be from the colonization of Africa. Right, you are. That does make sense. We're loading so we can use the, the like, map mode. Thank you for the follow, Althorin. Alright, so... Let's do the thing we were trying to do. So we've dipped down super significantly. Wait, where are we? Oh, we're 43. But part of this is, if you have a mass migration in, currently, it makes that state ineligible. So we actually don't have that many eligible states. Yeah, look, so, like, our really high attraction paces are not el eligible. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Okay, so then this makes, like, the five-state idea a little bit less attractive. With the idea you can pull your average up really high because it does it breaks us for a little while while the mass migration is occurring but i guess as soon as the mass migration leaves we're just gonna get more and more so like what's the strategy here i guess it's to try and increase the available employment in all the areas that are still eligible right would be like what we're <laughs> this is kind of like looks a little bit bananas to be honest but let's okay let's try and So, Bejo's uh, Toledo Beria are particularly bad. Bejo's Toledo Beria. Toledo, okay. So, we know these places can. And then Eastern Andalusia also doesn't have one. So, maybe we know that these places don't have any turmoil or whatever. We want to try and increase it. So, um, maybe something like this. We were auto expanding here and auto expanding here. And in this way, we can try and get these places to crank up their average. But in theory, what we should maybe do is move our edicts. Maybe not. But as soon as these places go away, so this is also why we only, why we're not spiking them like back to back to back to back super super hard, is because we've now bricked all of our places. I think we're gonna, we wouldn't want to integrate some of these places, but they're still growing. Hmm. It's so fascinating how this is changing the, the metrics for like what you would want to go for, I think. So we haven't incorporated any of this, but okay, what's your migration attraction? It's not that, that bad. So maybe we're supposed to incorporate ones with decent migration attraction. I mean, this place has the best migration attraction out of all of them, Zulia here, right? So maybe if we added some of the, some stuff to Zulia and put in a bunch of jobs and got the available jobs count up really high, 
this would be a reasonable incorporation to try and push the migration. We could add jobs super fast with the rice farms, but that would nuke our available arable land modifier. We could also just add a whole bunch of like, uh, well, some of this actually. Okay, so let's incorporate it then. It'll be five years, but that's the thing. Not sure if anyone is a he uh, here's a Magna anime fan. I assume someone is, but they just announced that Akira, uh, someone has passed away. Uh, as evidenced by the fact that I do not know who that is and can't pronounce the name. I don't watch much anime or manga, but I'm sure someone knows. Honestly, a migration CB would be a little too broken. Yeah, it really would be extraordinarily strong. It would be nuts. I really hate that uh, we also have, like, uh, it's harder for us to form a cultural community while we're at war. Probably a little bit silly. What's the SOL uh, on the centers of immigration? It's not that high. Um, and we can, we can talk about why it's not going to be that high. So whether or not you pull in a mass migration is based on the average, it's not based on the individual values. Um, but uh, Castile's, Castile and Valencia are gonna get mass migrations because they're uh, high, but our mass migration attraction is 60, it's the average of all of our incorporated states. But if we take a look, um, the, it's not that high because they've kind of changed some of the values. So, you know, was this 14, 14.8, 14 14.8, 14.4, um, nothing crazy, 13.7, 14 14.2, 12 12.9, 13.8, 14.8, 14, 14.9, uh, you know, 15.8, well that's kind of highest, and 16.1. And the reason is they've kind of overhauled what the modifiers uh, are for migration attraction, because our attraction is really high despite not having a super high SOL. I think before, and I could be mistaken on this, it used to be just SOL would give a flat modifier, just SOL straight across. Now it's 2x SOL. Uh, you can see the SOL is 14 here, and then, or it's a little over 2x SOL that we're getting from standard living. Uh, we have the unusable arable land modifier, which I think is still capped at 25. I'm not 100% sure on this, it might not be. And then available employment, instead of being capped at 10, is capped at 30. Uh, and so we are going to be getting a lot more from the available employment and also standard of living is effectively doubled and so um when you are the difference required uh to bring you up in a different migration uh, attraction level to, to another country the difference required is now effectively half because they're giving you twice as much per standard of living and so um yeah is general's going to retake the original Gibraltar? probably not would it be a good idea to close your borders this patch if you're a high pop nation maybe Probably. You don't want to hemorrhage a bunch, but also, like, even China, people don't accept Chinese pops. Um, but if they accepted them, yeah, that might be, that might be a bit of a problem for you. Uh, but if you, if you keep the turmoil low, with China, it's kind of easy to keep the turmoil low. Below a certain level, you actually won't trigger mass migration, so it wouldn't, you wouldn't have to worry about it. And I don't think it's too hard, so. Curious why we're not getting a mass migration event towards Castile and uh, Valencia. So we have really high attractions. So, there we get one. North Italian to Freestadt. I guess because our thing is based on the average. So now some of these are disappearing. It's raising our mass migration attraction because it uh, our country or our estate becomes ineligible when it's currently receiving a mass migration. Right? So Castile is eligible with 137 or 135 migration attraction. But we, we don't have this absolutely ballistic size thing. Pontiac Proletarian Revolt. Oof. But now the average is starting to come back up. Um, 
it's up to 69 again. I think it had gotten much lower. And the reason it's coming up is because uh, as we lose some of these mass migrations, it makes them eligible for mass migration again. Uh, so they contribute to the average. This is based on the average migration attraction of all eligible states. And so, yeah, this five state, uh, you actually probably, so you probably want to incorporate less aggressively than normal. And then um, as you're able to pull five mass migrations consistently, then you want to start adding states, I assume was recently announced on the official Dragon Ball Twitter. Rip. Rest in pieces. So we did that, uh... Wait, was that the... the drawer of Dragon Ball? Or Dragon Ball Z? Oof. But, it's, uh, it seems to be, like... It, for the most part, is kind of taking... UA is gonna be a big one. Um, Han would also be a big one. We haven't seen Han yet. But Han probably doesn't have enough turmoil. But UA is discriminated against him, right? Maybe? Or is it? I can't remember. So, but now it went up the... I, the attraction went up to like 70, now it's back down to 60. It's based on the average. So, what we have in the queue is like just... Absolutely, so trying to pull up the some of the lower rung states. So Beria would be another one. And then it'll help the average by doing this. Yeah, something like that maybe. Dakota migration, nice. Western Andalusia. Dragon Ball. Ugh. Is the Statue of Liberty just busted this patch? <sighs> yeah, probably. They don't even have it, I don't think. Oh, they do. Yeah. To be fair, the Statue of Liberty is kind of just always busted, but um, that it seems like a bit of a winner-take-all affair uh, definitely makes it seem more busted, yeah. You were, you were migrating from Great Britain, so is there... Oh, but e even still, we create a cultural community there. But that makes sense. Yeah, it's coming from this. It's coming from Hong Kong. So if my investment pool is zero, does that mean I'm paying for all the private queue as well? Uh, if it's bugged, which is currently bugged, so yeah. Not all of it. You're like, so here, if we had private queue construction... Uh, what is this? 300 over 700, what is that, like... It's not quite 50%, it's a little bit less. Um, so, 75% would go to the private queue, because we're on laissez-faire. We would only be paying for that, like, 35% marginal, but it's not even a thing. US isn't even a great power. Real, real? Is that real talk? Oh, Jesus. I mean, that helps out. That effectively negates a big part of the bonus from statue. That's funny. Wow, Mexico is insignificant? What happened? What happened to you? What happened here? It's like the Ant-Man meme. Wait, what actually happened? Why is that? How are you insignificant with that? Brazil's a minor. Well, is it just because the these guys are spamming way too much navy up at the uh, kind of like up top levels? Maybe that's it. 
I mean, Italy's doing a lot better than we normally see them do. Oh, we don't get to see their full graph. No, we get to see them. That's not a full graph. We don't get to see our full graph because we swap sides because Russia. Russia, we same don't get to see their full thing. Austria, I think it's just going to have problems. But yeah, like these, all these lines look like kind of flatter than normal. You have to discount the ones that are like, uh, but yeah, they look, this looks like flat as hell. Oh, but this is from a smaller date. But then the United States, like, super linear up, like, in a way that it's not normally. Ching is going down. Uh, I wonder if they have an exodus from mass migrations then. But, like, even Brazil's barely going up, right? And so, like, this is... What about Belgium? Are you cranking up? No, Belgium's not really... They're not cranking up in the pop like they normally do. It really does seem like kind of winner take all the and the the USA just crushes with the Statue of Liberty. Oh, Argentina's crashing. To be fair, they have a very high proportion of states with really high migration attraction because they have uh, unused arable land. Argentina actually has the states with the highest, uh, probably has the highest average unused arable land out of every co any country. Because the U.S. has a bunch of these, like, nothing burger states, right, that pull down that average. Argentina's, like, actually just all big ones. I guess, uh, you know who's also probably pretty good? Persia. So let's see. We've seen a mass migration from Persia before. So let's take a look at, so let's see Paul Allen's pop. Yeah, in Persia, their, their pop graph, like, actually looks nice. Everyone else's is just hyper flat. Oh, Egypt actually... Pretty decent kind of look. But Ottomans, it's like flat slash negative, flat. Japan's like flat slash negative. Ottomans, we're pulling pops off from them. Australia is like, those massive spikes are actually when we get the mass migration attractions or the massive, actually I don't know what that is. Oh no, that's them integrating stuff and then losing stuff to mass migration. Argentina just looks super caked up. Uh, Greece doing okay. Interesting. Yeah, but Belgium not performing like they normally do. Brazil not really be able to pull in the migrants. It's all very interesting, actually. What's going on with the USA? We sided against them multiple times to prevent them from taking Mexico. Because we want to eventually take Mexico for ourselves to restore the Spanish Empire. Arable land seems strong. I think it's it, uh, it's pretty strong, yeah, but... Unused arable land employment, 30. So I guess they increased the cap to from 25 to 30, actually. But yeah, the in particular, they have just an enormous amount. It has to be on incorporated territories, though. So frontier colonization to spike the thing. That's why you play with prestige only monuments. I mean, it, I mean, it makes a difference for the migration. Don't call your home a nothing burger. Oof. I forgot who I called a nothing burger. I suppose that's emblematic of how much of a nothing burger it was. The truth hurts. But I, I actually can't remember which one I called a nothing burger. I mean, like, uh, were you from Brazil? They, like, weren't be able to get any migration going. Whereas before, I think it was... 
based off of just your raw migration attraction, this like average migration attraction changes things like pretty substantively. I think. Well, let's keep it going, I guess, a little while longer, but I think we're gonna kind of outro in just a minute here. Sangu. One thing that annoys you is that most of the game, especially with Germany and Russia, has like minus 25% of real life pop, uh, pre pops and R Russia legit half. Interesting. I mean, I think a lot of the places that uh, have an enormous amount of populations like couldn't really organize their populations in a substantive way. Like China, your ability to pop off of China as a human player is like disgusting because you could actually like organize China or whatever this type of thing. And so, yeah. You said all the New England states. Ah, uh, yeah. Or nothing burgers. Yeah, New England. I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah. So, I mean, like, you're crushing the average with New England for the USA for this stuff. You'd prefer it not be incorporated. Because, like, um, let's take a look at Paul Allen's migration attraction. Low. 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 Medium. So, this is this is killing the his average migration attraction. Whereas, like, states like over here... Are gonna be doing much better, which might not even be incorporated. But so I guess you want to aggressively incorporate as the USA to pull up the average to make up for like New England. Oof. But I think we're gonna call it here, guys. Um, I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna do moving forward. Um, I prob I guess maybe I'll probably work on a, like, tangential video why I'm getting good at Victoria 3 is so hard. Um, because I don't know how much we want to play on this batch. Uh, on this exact iteration, not 1.6 in general, but, like, this, whatever's going on here just seems to have some very significant problems. I mean, we couldn't land Alaska, um, which, like, that just has to be them trying to fix your inability to land uh, some stuff, and now you just can't land other stuff. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. What to make of all of it. Also, like, migration mixed bag on whether it's bug or just, like, significantly different, but um, it'll be interesting to think through how it's supposed to go. But we still don't have the construction queue. Game is slower. I don't know. Maybe... Well, maybe I'll check my analytics and see how things are going. Then maybe we we maybe run something for Saturday. But uh, this otherwise, this probably I don't know. I, I'm not sure if we're gonna start a run for vods for YouTube, like with the current state of things. Um, kind of just want to wait for them to patch it, but also have no idea when the patch is gonna be. So, yeah, probably need 1.6.3 or. Point four to be okay. Well, I'll definitely play one point six point two if they said that they fixed a bunch of stuff. But was the last thing was a force change to not be able to cheese rush? What if it was uh, intended to not be able to? Well, I mean, how are you supposed to be able to take Alaska from them? Well, that'll be the only thing that works like that. But I mean, like, I don't hate it, like one hundred percent. I think that that it was kind of cheesy. You could still land them on this side and just ruin them. You could still land. We could land here. In this state and this is still how you crush russia in wars is you just occupy half their country before they do anything um and uh or well i we we didn't do that but i'm assuming that's how you still crush them in wars and then you abuse the fact that their strategic regions aren't very easy to defend right because they have uh the baltic is where their capital is their armies tend to defend russia if they defend baltic you land russia if they defend uh, you know, Bal uh, Rus or sorry, if they defend Baltic, you land Russia. If they defend Russia, you land Baltics. Um, and then you could also land in both the Caucasus and Dinapurs, so they have to defend four strategic regions, and so it's generally pretty easy to get in and start a push with a really fast army and zip in and get in, and also the size of the states is really big, and the bigger the size of the states, um, the longer... I think the easier it is to... The more time it's taking to transverse between the states. Uh, and so if you have someone with, like, uh, force march or railway stuff, and the AI doesn't, 
um, the bigger the state, the more you can just get ahead of them. And if you get ahead of their army, that means you can push stuff for free. And so, like, uh, very often you could, like, land Caucasus, Dinneberg, uh, uh, East Siberia, and push and get ahead of them for free, and then switch to defensive, and then land a different spot. And so, like, Russia is super easy to abuse, um, we, even without this Alaska nonsense. And so, um, yeah. It's kind of dumb since there's no Diplo recognition in the base game. Yeah, so, yeah, the you just always go for the Russia, this type of stuff. Takes off Howie, trying to get, trying to get it. We're trying to have only Vicky 3 channel. I think if I played Hoey, I would get like five to, I would get like five to 20 viewers, I think. Instead of, let's see how many people are in here. Even as we're outroing right now, we have 80 people in here, in the YouTube, and then in the Twitch, we have 15, so. Um, you know, I, I think I would get like a fifth or less of uh, viewership. Anyways, um, let's find someone to raid on Twitch, and then we'll say goodbye to the YouTubes afterwards so i guess we want to open a new thing all right no one i'm following is live let's see if there's anyone playing victoria 3 uh there's 18 viewers jesus there's like no one else playing victoria 3 so we have a guy who's not english we have a guy who's playing great shing i guess we'll raid the great shing guy especially because he's got no viewers so he will probably be pretty happy about that we'll see how things go don't know this guy's thing he does have stream chat activated I guess I'll probably hang out as a stream chat at least a few minutes, um, but we will raid that guy. The arable land seems strong. It does. So we'll do that for the raid, and then uh, I guess to everyone, we will bid you farewell, adieu, goodbye, godspeed, etc. Mostly etc. Oh, did the did the YouTube things freeze anyways? Okay, well we'll raid now. Au revoir. And then, I think, are we still live on the YouTube? Oh, it looks like we're still live. Yeah. We just, like, changed where we were in the UI, I guess. Uh, but I will bid you guys farewell as well. Bye-bye now. Have a good one, everyone. Godspeed.